Hey, everybody, how are you? How's it going? Start a little early today. Yeah, had to get some gasoline. I know Brandon's still on. I don't give a shit. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm so over all these fucking idiots. Just a bunch of fucking losers, nonstop losers. Fucking, just fucking, I mean, and I, I, it's like the, it's one loser show after the other. I, I'm, I'm like, really, it's like I watch Bob and Vince, two fucking mega losers. Then I'm watching Brennan. I like Felicia. And then who's on there? Stevie, the loser. Stevie loser, the user. And I, I have to talk to you about this. Let me just give my give my resident Stevie Lou hater a uh, a link, and then we'll fucking oh my god! So I'm watching Stevie. I, I you know I'll play it if I can. I have you know I'm on Kevin's Patreon, but I mean. Stevie Lou, <laughs> I swear, this is laughable. This is really, it's almost so laughable. It's unbelievable. This is when you know you're smoking too much weed. And the weed has gone to your head. And he's sitting there taking a fucking bong hit while his wife's picture is up there. And he doesn't even realize it. Because he's taking a fucking bong hit. Because he's a fucking loser. But the two key takeaways. Out of nowhere, Steve Lou just goes off on me. I haven't even mentioned his name in a long time. And out of nowhere, he starts to attack me. And I'm going, wow, this came out of nowhere. And he starts going off on me, saying that, and he's and he's got a ball wash Kevin's fucking testicles, right? So he comes on and he starts ball washing Kevin. I mean, it's so fucking pathetic and embarrassing. And I'm watching this and I'm going, how is Kevin tolerating this? I mean, Kevin, we all like to get complimented, but you're gonna fucking take this ball washing seriously. Because if so, you, I'm losing a lot of respect for you. So, Stevie starts saying, Kevin, if it wasn't for you, stuttering John would still be irrelevant. <laughs> I'll, I'll, Kevin Brennan is now responsible for my relevancy. Not the Trump phone call. Not pro football arm wrestling, which be, which we were it was all in the papers. Not the Tonight Show. Not the Stern Show. No, 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 none of that. It's because of Kevin Brennan and fucking MLC that somehow I'm relevant. Oh my lord! Then, now, first of all, even if you analyze that, and really, folks, let's face it. I was teaching full-time, Stevie, you can't teach. You don't have a four-year degree. And I was teaching and loving it. And I was making about, about seven Gs a month. About seven Gs a month. That's pretty, that's pretty fucking good. 84000 a year. I didn't fucking need to be doing anything, Stevie. And I decided to walk away from the Dabbleverse because it was all about me. <laughs> and I was like, fuck this. You know, you know, with the with the fatty patties of the world, all those assholes attacking my kids and my family, my mother. I'm like, all right, I don't need this shit anymore. So I went away. Then over the summer, I'm sitting in my brand new house, Stevie. Yeah, I'm a loser. Okay, Stevie, I got a house. Come in the summer, I'll have a boat. I got a Harley and I got a Mercedes. But I'm a loser, okay, Stevie? <laughs> so, so then he goes on. Okay, so the, and now that's that's borderline delusion. I mean, that's 
He's Stevie Delusional. <laughs> um, and then, and then you have, this is the best thing. Because I super chatted. I said, Kevin, lose Stevie, have Chad be the next Adam. Ooh, that set Stevie off. Stevie be mad. Stevie be really mad at me. And then I super chatted again. And I said something like, um, what was it? Uh, I don't know. You know, st oh, st oh, Stevie, you're kissing up is pathetic. I said, uh, uh, I, I forget what I said. I, I said, you're broke. Now, he is broke. And then Stevie says, John, you're jealous because I'm on MLC and you're not. <laughs> oh, God. God. That's got to be the funniest thing in the world. Um, But, I mean, you know, Stevie Loza, who's so lame... And, I, and I'm like, just like, I'm watching this fucking dumbass sitting there fucking kissing Kevin's ass like crazy. Ball, ball watching. I'm ball watching Felicia right now. No, I don't want to. I don't give a fuck about Ray DeVito. Nobody cares about him. But just yeah, good point. Another another hint everyone should have taken was when I did that fight because you know the whole knock on me was Kevin can't do a show by himself. You know, stuttering John and whoever else. They're like Brennan can't do a show by himself. Stunner John's like, I can do a show by myself. No, Brennan Kevin. can't. I did a five-hour show by myself on a Saturday night. I know what you're going to say, Kev. First of all, Brennan, you pinky motherfucker. First of all, very simply, what I said was, you always have guests on. You don't normally do a show alone. That's why you have to pay guests. Me, I don't need guests. And I hate to tell you, Kevin, I'm better at it than you. I am. That's a fact check. So for you, now, I, I wasn't putting you down. Just saying you don't normally do a show alone. I did great. The The money was good. The numbers were good. Five hour. Five hour total. So it went, when it, as soon as that happened, everyone should have uh, uh, paid attention be like, Maybe I shouldn't fuck around with Brennan so much. Maybe maybe I shouldn't take Brennan's show for granted. No, and again, the Melton thing, I really didn't even give a shit up, until Melton kept fuck, doubling bro. down and tripling shut down, saying up. lies about my show and my... And hey, fuck the altar boy. There it is right there. Vegas. I haven't sent anyone to a mental hospital. Talking to me. Stevie, why should I pay you if you're going to go on other shows for free? That was the simple rule. There was nothing. Oh, First, clip okay. it down. I now, this is where the big Stevie Lou ball washing begins. And this is the epitome of pathetic. I don't think it was four or five minutes. But within the rest of the hour, there were other things in there. Like, he made fun of you for saying, I support myself and my family, which everyone gets your point. And Pat thought you All meant right, you don't like your family, and he called them bloodsuckers. He's like, why don't you ditch your bloodsucking wife? That wasn't in the my lost interest clip. Holy so he's cut from the same cloth as Melton. They belong together. Oh you ask God! Oh. Well, I mean, okay. Here's the thing, too. The major objection you always had, at least for me, going on other shows was Stevie. This is Kevin talking to me. Stevie, oh God. why should I pay you oh God. if you're going to go on oh. other shows for oh. free? That was the simple oh. rule. There was nothing else behind it. Oh. This is the ultimate act of why should I pay you if you're going to go do some other shit oh. for some guy oh. that 
oh is who he is for free yeah, it's even it's even worse because i mean it's one thing to work for a guy for free it's another thing to like work for a guy for free and have to go to vegas the so, desert in the middle of the summer and and uh and then, and then i'll talk shit about brennan's wife and his, you can't just cancel a gig you can if- drag his dirty smelly disgusting ass out of hibernation to- okay. and I, i'll still talk shit about brennan's show and his family okay so now hey quad hey quad this is the best now this is i i have it queued up now this is stevie lou's big rant on me which is I mean, you must have been laughing about this, Derek. Oh yeah, I I loved it, man. It was <laughs> to see him spaz out like that was the best thing. I know it's fucking oh, it's so funny. But here we go. <laughs> now he's gonna go. This is his best shot at me. Ugh. And they'll still come out. That's how fucking lame they is. And he's right. They will still come out because they're like. A gig's a gig, like Ray says. A gig's a gig. I couldn't cancel a gig. Kevin's a comedian, or he used to be. You can't just cancel a gig. You can if you're not getting paid. That's usually why they pay you. So you'd be like, oh, okay, I'll do, I guess I'll do the gig. I guess I'll turn down other gigs because uh, I'm going to get a certain amount of monies, money things, situations. If you're a pawn in a game of chess, and it's, I mean, it's got to be obvious to you at some point, I would think, you know, you got to dance with the guy who brought you, right? Yeah, I mean, listen, Listen, I I mean, dance with the guy who brought you. Kevin brought Stuttering John (laughs) out of (laughs) his irrelevant, you know, he was completely irrelevant, irrelevancy. Yeah. Attack. Wait, oh, fuck. Damn it. I can't. I can't. I'm sick of fucking (laughs) sick of empty seats. Cancel oh. mental hospital. I would love it if I sent Ray to a mental hospital. Fuck <laughs> times, apparently not that. Hey, you can't. Anything decent, any success is due to you. Oh, here we go. Okay. Reason. This is what he has against me. Okay. Remember, you were the one that. Here we go. So you'd be like, oh, okay, I'll do. I guess I'll. Sorry, Quad. I I, uh, I fucking do that all the time. Here we yeah, go. no worries, man. Do the gig. I guess I'll turn down. A- other gigs right, comes the ball watch. because uh, I'm going to get a certain come. amount of money. Ball money watching situation. loser. If you're a pawn in a game of chess, and it's, I mean, it's got to be that. obvious to you at some point, it's I would think. You, know, you got to dance story. with the guy Everyone who brought you, my ass. right? Yeah, I mean, listen. listen I, I mean, dance I, with I, the guy who brought you. Kevin brought Stuttering <laughs> John out of his irrelevant. You know, he was completely irrelevant. Say Irrelevancy. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Remember, you were the one that brought him back out. You you promised him the the big payday. Uh, before that, he was a coward, pussy, hiding in his fucking garbage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How much did you make off that payday? Three grand. <laughs> you got three, him. Three, you got him. Hold on, hold on, Derek. Three grand from Brandon. Another fifteen hundred, I believe, from Chad. Oh. Chad, another fifteen hundred from Chad. Now we're up to six grand, and then five hundred for the replayables. I mean, I'm talking about maybe seven or eight grand. Now, Stevie, let me tell you why everybody paid me. Because I'm the Duke of the Dabbleverse. I'm the fucking Duke, and the reason why I'm the Duke because I'm the only person. No offense, Derek, but the head of show business fucking career. You fucking losing, a loser idiot with your fucking mail order bride, you fucking skeletal looking freak. No, he he probably thinks he uh, he had a career because he did the East Side Dave show, like uh, some evening show, whatever. I, I watched it some, but it wasn't. It was nowhere near like a real show show. You, you can see, like, uh, the Davey Mac show now, like, on uh, YouTube. Nobody watches it. Absolutely no one watches it. But I can't believe that Stevie Lou is is, is giving – like, everybody gives credit. Like, I was, I was watching Bob and Vince today, Derek, and they were saying and, – and Bob was saying that Carl and Shuley are now responsible for me making money in, you know, doing – podcasting and i'm like are you guys are you i mean 
The money was always sitting there. All you had to do was show up to collect. Yeah, but, it's, it's but Derek, Derek, they... No, I mean, like, the Super Chat money, what you're doing now. Like, all you ever had to do was show up and start doing a show, and you would have made yeah, the but, money. But the thing I'm trying to say is, no, 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 no. You guys, because of my fame, you guys decided to get to make shows about me. Not the other way around, Bob. You guys yeah, did shows about me. And because of me, you made money. Don't turn this fucking around. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing, Derek? Now suddenly I should be thanking them? I, how does that make any logical sense? Well, if you wanted to like compare notes, I mean, all you have to do is look at uh, what you make and the views you get and compare it to anyone by themselves because nope. you're doing your show by yourself. But it's so silly. But Stevie, look. This is this is a new. I mean, talk about kissing the ass to get a hundred fifty dollars. I mean, Stevie, you might as well start fucking, you know, being a tunnel bunny at the Lincoln Tunnel at this point. Well, Brennan allows it. Plus, uh, obviously, the super chats are coming in for the hatred of Stevie Lou. No, and I know. Brennan, right? Brennan's happy to sell him down the river for every super chat, and eventually it'll come to that. We all know it. Yep, so here we go. Bridge apartment, spineless loser. Okay. Did you just say I have a shitty apartment? Yeah. What does he live in? <laughs> can a live box, for anymore. A box in New York coming City. after good people like you and me. And you were nice enough to fucking drag his dirty, smelly, disgusting ass out of hibernation to let him back. Stuttering John should be sucking your fucking. Oh, I don't know. I thought you were talking about somebody else. I'm talking about John right now. The Stuttering fact John's that he has a show, the fact time. that he has a show right now, and he's doing anything decent, any success is due to you. <laughs> is due to you, Kevin. Just make sure that's clear. And the fact that he's coming after me, he's been coming after me. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on, Mr. B. You can't just cancel Love a gig. It. You can if you're I not getting care. paid. I mean, I. I love usually why they pay you. Apartment. I own so a be like, oh, house. okay, I'll do. I guess I'll do the gig. I guess I'll and I have down apartment. other gigs because uh, I'm going to get a certain amount of monies, money things, situations. If you're a pawn in a game of chess, and it's, I mean, it's got to be obvious. Any success is due to you. Is due to you, Kevin. Just make sure that's clear. And the fact that he's coming after me, drag his dirty, smelly, disgusting ass out of hibernation to let him back. Stuttering John should be sucking your dance with the guy who brought you. Kevin brought Stuttering John out of his irrelevant. You know, he was completely irrelevant. Yeah, okay, so Irrelevancy. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Remember, you were the one that brought him back out. You you promised him the, the big payday. Uh, before that, he was a coward pussy hiding in his fucking garbage apartment. <laughs> spineless loser with no life. Nothing to fucking live for anymore. Coming after good people like you and me. And you were nice enough to fucking drag his dirty, smelly, disgusting ass out of hibernation to let him back. Stuttering John should be sucking your fucking. Oh, I don't know. I thought you were talking about somebody else. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about John right now. The Stutter fact John's that he has a show. The fact time. that he has a show right now and he's doing anything decent, any success is due to you. <laughs> Is due to you, Kevin. Just make sure that's clear. And the fact that he's coming after me, he's been coming after me. And you know why? The only reason this is what he has against me because I said that I renounced him. Yeah. And then I made that your mom's box joke. Yeah. That's the only two things that he has against yep. me. And that's how no, he's that's gonna come it. after me like a fucking asshole when he's a true scumbag yeah. loser with nothing who should oh, be on his knees. He should be on his knees today. sucking your nuts. Due to the fact. Cock and nuts, John. You should have <laughs> Kevin's cock and nuts in your mouth due to the fact that he brought you out of your fucking little hole. And eventually, you know, the good thing is that John should be dead in a few months. He can't be more than a year or so. Oh, look at his health. Mad at John. Just look at his health because he's been coming <laughs> after me a little bit lately. And this is my oh, first yeah. chance to respond. Oh, so good. stuttering, John, you fucking <laughs> near death loser. <laughs> fucking when you do die. No one's give, gonna give a shit, buddy. So just know that no one's gonna be at your you fucking think Howard funeral. will show up. No one's gonna be at his fucking wake. Kevin, it's gonna be you think Baba Bowie will show up. It's gonna be that fucking. It's gonna be Dawn and fucking Loser Dan. Loser Dan, a bunch of trolls. Jeez. That's all he's got. So God bless you, John. You fucking piece of shit.
I just hope my my funeral sells out. I'm sick of, fucking, <laughs> sick of empty seats. Uh, come on, quad. I mean, what what the where did that stop projecting? See, thanks, Mister Party. Where I mean, where is this coming from, Derek? Uh man, I, he's just spazzing out, spiraling. But I, I love watching it happen. It's it's very enjoyable watching him spaz out today. Uh, yeah, why why do you think he's back on screen anyway? I thought he made a promise to his wife that he wouldn't be on screen. Well, he made a deal with Kevin. No one's allowed to mention his wife, you know. So even Kevin had one today that said, you know, Stevie, you know, I'm I'm happy that his wife has left him. And then Kevin, he couldn't even read it. And it's so fun. Well, just like Bo Beardington, my man said here. Uh, oh wait, uh, right here. Uh, you really got to see me, little. I mean, it's so fucking. I mean, it, it. How do you say you're winning without saying it? Let Stevie Lou do a fucking five minute rant on Brennan. So Brennan even know who the fuck he's talking about. And Brennan's trying to go like trying to make it funny at least. Holy shit! I mean, but there's but there's more. Wait, there's more. Quad. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, just FYI, my lost interest did upload that video too. He just wanted me to let you know. So, um, what up, uh, Stevie? Yeah, like he's already cl- he already clipped that, so he's oh, on. Good, it. good, 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 good. Okay, now now he has one. Yeah, more, there was man. a there was a lot to this man. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. so you're the one thing you said was uh, he started making fun of Little Lemmy for living in a trailer. Yeah, 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 and yeah. It, like you said. In a tiny little box in New York City, what could be worse than that? Give me a break. No, he's not. Isn't he in Queens? Uh, like New Rochelle, I think is where he lives. Who Stevie, right? I I think. Yeah, yeah, Stevie. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. He doesn't have any money. I mean, he's fucking yeah. broke. He's saying, he's saying no one's coming to and my moving, funeral. Probably. He's saying no one's coming to my funeral. Yeah, just your kids, your family, like all of that stuff. But yeah. he has, he don't have kids. No one showed up to his fucking funeral. That's a fact. Yeah. Who the fuck is Stevie? You don't have a wife. You don't have kids. You, I mean, who's showing up to your funeral? It's like, where literally is no one. And what's so funny, I'm going to die tomorrow. I got news for you, Stevie. First of all, I have great health care. And. I, my liver is fine, and my fucking heart is fine. So Stevie, yeah, you just had your test the other day, right? Yeah, I did a stress test. So Stevie, hey, you're all good, you, but I'm gonna be fine. Oh, you're acting. Ah, uh, you're doing the Stevie Lou thing. You're doing a work. <laughs> it's a work. Yeah, hold on, that he does one more rant at least. From what I saw, hold on. I, I, I like how myself, I'd rather be by myself or three people. I like how I'm him, though. I am him at this point. <laughs> how is that? Who's him? Anything? Yeah, I know. No, uh, he's him, the him. guy oh, we all God. hate. Like yep. him. That's who the I am now. I am that man. I am him. Better writer Jim Downey or Daniel Kelsen. Kelsen's not a writer, he's just a producer. So that's right. Adam was great at. First of all, Adam was neutral. Adam was Adam was like lukewarm more lukewarm water to uh, the uh, quote spinal tap. I think he's coming right. So because uh, one was ice and one was fire, is, right? and then and then uh, that uh, is me. What's called Dan Falada's buddy was lukewarm water. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's his buddy's name? John is used motor oil. That's what he is. Uh-huh. That mother. No. What is uh what is the spinal tap? What was the uh, the guy Harry Shear? Harry Shear was lukewarm water. Adam was lukewarm water. So Adam was good because in all the chaos, Adam really didn't get uh, I think he dragged was into it. Here, right? Also, Adam was very professional, so he would like what? anything needed to be done, he would do it. He would. He never made excuses like I can't. Do, I can't do this. I, I like. I would ask him to do something. He would just do it. Sometimes he couldn't do it because he was had another job he had to do. But but he never made excuses like oh, I can't do it. And that's all anybody else does is make excuses. Everybody else in this world is like. You know, I, it, what happened was Kevin said, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. And then Ray's like, I made more. Ray, Ray, you're a loser. I paid you 9K last year. That was one third of what you made. That's embarrassing. 
My 9K shouldn't, shouldn't have any relevance in your life. But it do. <laughs> but it do. So that's not good for you. Uh, get rid of Stevie. Chat should be the next Adam. I don't know if that's a real stuttering John. Adam used to be able to tell me if that was a real stuttering John. Yeah, it is. How he did that. It's, it's $2. That's how you know it's definitely him. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, I think he could tell by the e by the email associated I could check it. it. If you want, I'll check it out. No, don't check it because that'll just lead to more problems. <laughs> Let's just let's just live in a fantasy world where everyone's uh whatever we whatever we want it to be, that's what it is. Doesn't matter if it's him or not. I think it is him. Uh Snoo Kerman became a YouTube member. Thank you, Snoo. Members only, because uh who was complaining about the chat yesterday? Mondays we like to do uh the yeah, poor's are terrible yesterday, cousin is. I said one more. No, Mondays we like to do uh TV, oh, free, what, is. what I'm saying. There you go. What's her name? No, but you could you, you can't you see it? But you it was I up there for I, a while. I was weed cocking, as you as you. Oh, so yeah. that's why you that's why you should be paying attention. Yeah, who is this, uh, Derek? I Wait, think did I already taken, read this. I think that, I guess, uh, are you up? talking about Felicia? <laughs> no, who is uh, Cook? I read it twice because it was so who nice. Is, is that his wife? David, we talk- is that his wife? This picture here. Why? I can. Uh. Cause he has yeah, I can't even... Here, watch. Talked about this. Stay off uh, this show. He's, you know, he's busy sucking his fucking... Oh, oh I, read, I, did I mean, read I, these out. I know her it's name. Out. And it's Take that down. Kind of like that. He just said take it down. Different. He just said take it down. So that was his life. <laughs> I, I mean... <laughs> but... That, that's kind of a weird what one because it's you, not even really that close. Maybe it's like a professor. You know when professors used to smoke pipes and they'd be it's talking close, but to the students exactly. as they're smoking a pipe? See? It's been a, a trailer. That's a problem. I mean, I mean they go the, on. The whole beer. show lives in a trailer? No. no. Smoke no. Weed but it's only that it's broken down to just three people now. Uh, and uh, How about, uh, how about that lady that never talks? What's her name? Yeah, yeah that's, so this you're, you're getting warm Lemmy. if if you if you know yeah, what I'm saying. Right right in right in What's her name? Lemmy, little Lemmy. Why don't you just say your name instead of you're get, getting warm? Because he's a horrible broadcaster. Well, I was more talking about living in a trailer thing. Oh, getting warm. You know, speaking of getting warm, you know when you do your password and uh, they're like, "Yeah, that password's not right." The video has it right. They I, should at least I, go. You're I, pretty I, close I, though, because they. Cause well, I like, got a question for you, John. Like, Would I, you rather live in a trailer on property or in a like, tiny little apartment in fucking the middle of New York City, like where no, you can't go anywhere but concrete jungle? Like, I, I would way rather live out on property away, you know, in a trailer. Than I would in the middle of downtown shithole, New no, York City. Mad, but, uh... <laughs> and, I know. To each their own. I'm a country boy, though, so I get it. But then again, Stevie, I'm a New Yorker. So I mean, Stevie, I mean, I mean Quad. I mean, I'm a New it's Yorker, but, but I get your point. Does she own? Does she own the land? Yeah, from what I understand, yeah. All right. Well, then that's yeah. I mean, if. If she owns the land, then yeah, at least she has equity. So you'd be correct. And yeah, I would I would take the land. So anyway, here we go. And now he's about to blow again. Here we go. Come on, Stevie. keep trying. You're you're real close. <laughs> Come on, Stevie. See, you got the last one wrong, but they act like you're some kind of foreigner. Like this, this is not no, this is wrong. Is this, this is nine, a new bit. I probably got everyone right except one and and whatever. You should Stevie flush. Luke kissing up is pathetic. Stevie, you're broke. Who am I kissing up to, John? I'm certainly not kissing up to you, you fucking loser. And I know that this hurts to see me on this show because you wish that you were here, John. <laughs> you think that you're the funny one. No, he but don't need. He don't this. need. He Hello? Don't. Hello? Hello? I didn't order anything. That's a pretty Hello? good impression. No, what is it? <laughs> that is a pretty good impression. Thank you. That fucking loser. Uh, no, Mr. John, Ray positive. P. Ray. Stevie, remember when that sad divorce loser was pulled out? Yeah. Would you rather be doing your own show and making your own super chats or hanging out on uh, Kevin's show for 100, 150 bucks a show? Come on. Get real, Stevie Lou. I mean, I average like five, six, maybe $700 a show. 
But I'm Kevin I'm, could never match that. I'm jealous because I'm not on MLC. I mean, hey, Stevie, it's not SNL. It's MLC. Okay? It ain't the epitome of show business success. You fucking idiot. But it doesn't even matter quite. I've been on Kevin's show, what, 10 times now? I mean, you think that that's my dream to be on Kevin's show? It's not. I wouldn't, even if he offered me second mic, I wouldn't take it. I don't want it. I would never want to do that. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I'd rather do my own show. You know, I'm lone wolf, as Lenny would say uh, in uh, Laverne and Shirley. I'm the lone wolf. I'd rather do my own show. You fuck it. Loser. Stevie, how can you call me a loser? I mean, I can't. A man of my intelligence can't comprehend this. How can I be a loser, Stevie? How? What? What did I lose at? Please tell me. Who else fucking parlayed the Stern show into how many TV shows now? How many movies? Me. Not Jackie. Me. Not Fred. Me. Not Bowie. Me. Why? Because as the great Brandon Tartikoff told me, you've got it. And Stevie, you've got shit. School! Why yeah, I've been on MLC seven, eight times now, and I wouldn't want to be on there much more than maybe max once a week maybe once a month is good with me right now i like doing my own show man doing my own thing probably like you do it's yeah, better that why way is, why is stevie so mad at you quad uh i mean it got pretty chippy more recently but he does go into why he's so pissed off at me he said that i can't shut up and stop talking about him uh he said that i'm in all of their thumbnails and i spend every show talking about him for like the first two hours of the show so he thinks i'm like obsessed with him and can't shut up about him i did a show yesterday i thought it was hilarious i went over all of that ken yada bright guys uh like all of his social media and stuff and i was showing show. that quad you got to get him on your show get that guy uh, we're trying show. how much we're trying. Our people. i mean i would have you and here's the greatest thing now be honest does Little Lemmy hate me or Stevie Lou more? No, I, I've talked to her about that. Oh, she definitely hates Stevie Lou's guts. Oh, yeah, wow. she doesn't hate you, man. No, she she's uh like I, I was asking her, she said she doesn't hate you. She just whatever. We we had that blow up that one night. Shit happened, but she got over it. She's over it. Well, well, she, she's I mean, fine with you coming on like the ladies' night or coming on the show well, anytime now. So look, I find the fucking hot i'm sorry i mean i do i think she's pretty fucking hot so everybody kind of says that man honestly i think no, i don't know I there's something about her but i don't have any ill will towards her at all you know i don't i don't know her i don't you know but that was a whole ambush it felt like and it wasn't really her it was that boyfriend of hers like he was being like the obnoxious one it wasn't you obviously it wasn't stevie it wasn't really her it was really him and that other guy who's like the fucking guy sitting all the way in the back of the room. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Nick. You don't want him pulling down, Quad. Uh, did, you, did you ever watch Midnight Run? Yeah, of course. Love that movie. Yeah, so I, so I ordered it again. And I'm watching it, and I realize that the whole thing is about getting the Duke. And I'm like, holy shit. And I even record on my phone. Like, like They're like, Joey Pants, like, we got to get the Duke. Where's the Duke? And I'm going, holy shit, this is the story of my life. <laughs> Hold on. It's fucking hysterical. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, hello. Wait, let's see. The Duke. <laughs> so I got to have, so I got to take him out, the, take Charles Grodin out, and then and then have him, you know, have Joey Pence going, we got to get the Duke. And then have, you know, him in there. And then he goes, 
So I finally meet you, the Duke, and then I'll have me sitting. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, no, I, 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 I forgot that, that they were all after the Duke. Do you remember it now? No, it's a great movie, man. I love at the end when he takes off his belt and he's got like 10 grand in it and he uh, gives it to De Niro. He's like, you had this the whole time? The whole grand. time we were starving? It, it, it's great. Derek, 300 grand. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was 300 grand. And well, I just know because I just I because I just watched it again. And he goes, I, I took some out for travel, but just keep this, which was a great ending. And that and that movie is fuck. Oh, everybody was perfect in it, you know. And and Robert De Niro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's the <laughs> no, that's a great movie. I love it. Uh but uh so what time is your show tonight? I don't have a show, it's Tuesday. Uh, we do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I'm clear, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, let's just get to a few. I, I just want to see. Uh, I don't see any big ones because they're all over fucking ass kissing Brandon now. But you know, hey, you know. But funeral director, <laughs> thanks for them being a member for a month. Bob rated Julie as an eight point five. <laughs> As a stand-up comedian. At first, I found that funny, but really, it's insulting. He's bullshitting his fans of all shows lying about it. Now, I've seen Shuli's stand-up. Shuli blows. And if anyone saw me live, like not that shit at the barbecue place where, you know, I was half in a bag and, and some guy edited it to make me look bad. But you came to see me live, and obviously, quite, I, you know, you can't headline the improv and laugh factory in Vegas and Reno, you know, and all of If you, you know, aren't good, they won't have you back again. And here I am back again. And, and I, you know, there's no way. And I'm sitting there like, so Bob gives me a five and truly an eight and a half. And I think he gave Florentine a nine. So you're saying, yeah. That Florentine is only a half better than Shuli. First of all, that's an insult to Florentine. I mean, no matter how you look I at it. I kind of think so. I thought so yeah, when he said it. I, I can't argue that. I mean, that's the most. I, and I've never I've never seen Shuli. I've never seen any of his stand-up, really, for the most part. Um, it's awful. Yeah. I, it's, it's awful. Pussy fart. You know, it's like, it's so lame. But uh, I'm gonna play some of that if you want to hang around and watch some of it. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, and he he was saying like if he had any suggestions to you just to get back out there and do more of it. But yeah. I think surely he's not he's not well practiced. He's not uh, going around doing a lot of gigs either. So it's not like anybody is doing but a, a his thing, like, multiple like, gigs I, a week. You know, but here's the thing: like I made, I mean, I made a lot of money doing stand-up, like, I'm talking a lot of money. I'm talking about probably a million at least doing stand-up. So, and I made a living doing stand-up. So, like, you know, and then, and then yeah, and, and then Bob, Vince Lawyer treats Bob Levy like, so, like, you know, like he's Dice Clay. It's like, it's so embarrassing because Vince obviously doesn't know comedy. I mean, now, quite a, I mean, I had Bob on the road with me. And, and what's funny about it is Bob starts talking about how he was doing me a favor. And I'm going, Bob, nobody knew who you were. By me putting you on my show, you had exposure on Howard Stern. And that was, look at the dividends that paid. But I don't know. Do you find Bob as a fucking great stand? I don't, to be honest, I don't care. No, I think he is good. Uh, I believe what Vince Lawyer said was that he's a grand master comedian. So that that's so I, I don't know. But also Vince Lawyer, like he was chipping him half the fucking interview. Or is it an interview? Because allegedly they're gonna be doing a bunch of these now. It was episode one with Bob and Vince. Like they're gonna start doing an entire podcast together now. I don't know, but I have to say this, Quad. So everybody. And Quad, you could report on this. And uh, my lost interest, I want everybody to understand this. And I was waiting until Brennan was done 
but I'll start now. Because quad, and I'm not one to be an asshole when it comes to personal things, but it, I'm, I'm asking you, Derek. I mean, you're a sensible guy, except when you jump off of a tree into a pool. But like, if like if you were to say, like, I, um, <laughs> uh, uh, now I'm fucking losing my. If after I fucking made the joke, I fucking forgot what I was gonna say. It, it'll come back to me. Okay, but if you're me. And you see, like, they fucking call my mom. They fucking, you know, they send people to my fucking pub. You know, they fucking write graffiti on the walls of the pub. You know, and, you know, they fucking come by my house. And they, you know, everything that they've done to me and my family. You know, fucking, fucking melting with my kid's picture. It's all just really horrible, horrible shit that they do to myself and my family, you know, but I think it's fair game now. Would you not say so that now that I have a private eye who's getting me all the, all the Intel, wouldn't that be fair game at this point? For me to fight for I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I have never gone after anybody, but I've done stuff after people have fucked with me. I think that's the way it works. So, yeah, you want to fuck around with my family or talk shit. Uh, and obviously, that's what Stevie Lou did to me. That's why I got so pissed off, uh, just flat out. So, yeah, you want to you want to play games. You want to talk shit about family. You want to bring family into it. Uh, then, yeah, no holds barred kind of stuff after that. Absolutely, 100%. I agree with that. But this is where I'm really – This is this is the best of it all. Everything – that Silent Mike and Bob and Shuli say about me is a projection. And let me just, you know, I don't make any, I don't make statements that are untrue. So let's, they were accusing me of not graduating from NYU, which obviously I did. I mean, there's no way you could become a teacher without a four year degree. It's just impossible. So, you know, and I didn't go to any other college after NYU. So that, that's, you know, it's st it's silly, but th but then who didn't graduate high school? Shuli and Bob. So everything they accuse me of, they're guilty of. Now here's the best one. Now, Quad, are you with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muttering Jay, my lost interest. This is very important for you to know. Shuli didn't do a show last night. He said. Something came up. Now, today, he did a show and said he had a school meeting. Now I ask you. He has already told us that he's homeschooling. Right? right. Okay. So what school is he meeting with? Yeah, very good question, huh? His but kids are too young to be going to college, or yeah, no, obviously no. that's not the case. But, but but here is the better question: He's going to night school. No, this is where I, and I'm telling you, everything's coming from my fucking PI, Dustin. Dustin reported, surely, because it's illegal to homeschool. In the state of Alabama, if you don't have a high school degree. And this person filed with Alabama and said and complained that you can't have this guy saying that he's homeschooling. He doesn't have a high school diploma. That's child abuse. You can't do that. It's against the law. I think he had, I think he had a real shakedown. And I think he had something, something with the Alabama school board or whatever. Board of said, Education, something like that show yeah, up. You can't home. His school. wife probably has a high school graduation though, right? Yeah, but he it, says he who, does. Ah, he, he said that on uh, podcasts and yeah, stuff before, says, like publicly. He says they both do it. He's not allowed to homeschool in the state of Alabama. So I don't know what he's Yeah, I, without a high school. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. 
And he didn't do a show last night. He claimed that he had a school meeting. Which is it, shit, where you? Are you homeschooling? Or are your kids in school? And and I and listen, Quad, they lie all the time. Yeah. Now, well, I mean, in all fairness, like uh Shuli said what he was gonna miss that gig the one time because uh he had a family emergency come up, and then the next yeah. night he was doing a fucking podcast at the same time. So it was like, all right. So whatever, uh, the guy is probably willing to part from the truth to some degree. It does appear that way. And I'm saying that now, knowing he's probably watching me say this. You know what I mean. Like, no, I no, get no. it, man. They're, hey, they're hey. always watching. and Yeah, but it's not about – I'm just calling out truths. I'm better at Vince than this now. I mean, Vince – No, I, I think Shuli is willing to not – be a hundred percent honest. I I'm in agreement with you on that. Yeah, I'm well, just saying. Scott, it. Yeah. I'm putting it on the record. Obviously, saying that right now. Yeah, ask Scott the engineer. Ask fucking Ronnie Lemon Driver. That guy has fucked over anybody he's fucking worked with. You know, and by them ever accusing me that it's projection. Now, here's another one. I'm gonna fucking really blow your mind here. You ready for this? Who do you want to hear about first, Bob Levy or? Philip Joseph Russo, because it just keeps getting better for me. Ah, let's hear Joe, the producer, Philip Russo. Let's do it. I can't stand okay. that guy, you know. Good. So you'll love this. Philip Joseph Russo was arrested for a felony in Ocean County, New Jersey. <laughs> I even have the case number. So, I mean, and my PI said there's a reason why I went to Florida. He said, and I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna find out what it is. And sure enough, we found it out. He's born in October of 1976, and we found out exactly his case number and everything else. And again, Quad, they always try and. Oh, John didn't pay child support all this. But look who are the real criminals here. I mean, he got arrested in Florida, too. And he got his ass kicked by a 77-year-old man. And he pulled the gun on that guy. But I'm just saying, like, it doesn't it seem quite odd that these guys who think they're so funny and so great have this dark history? Do you, did you find out what the felony is? It a conviction or was it a felony arrest? Or did it was you dismissed. Find out more? Did you... It was dismissed. So we don't know either. Did he agree to leave? If they dismiss it, I mean, we don't know yet. I'll have more intel by tonight. But we're getting everything. And now right. let's uncover Bob Levy. And I'm, you know, and. It doesn't matter. Like, you know, my PR is like, you know, you think you should do like one at a time. I got to know. No, because it, it's because I like the fact that they and Carla and all these guys, like I'm not, I don't play on my album, which is another lie. You know, I, I don't own a Harley. Another lie. Vince said I was riding bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Today I saw that. Right. Yeah. In He's like, I didn't even know what riding bitch meant, uh, but this is definitely his shoes, his pants, blah, blah, yeah, blah. That was, that was, like, that was a setup. He, he, he had told Bob, just say it's John. I'm trying to piss John off. That was his intent, and he did. Now, I'll tell you, Vince, you're dead to me. And I know I've said this a billion times. Don't get me wrong. And quite, I know it's funny, yeah, but now it, he is. I, I text him, do not send me anything. If you do, I will cite you for harassment. I'm not going to answer the door, and and I'll cite you for harassment because it is. If I, you know, you can't start. Yeah. I, you know, I live in a gated community. You can't start fucking giving out my fucking gate code to these people who who then knock on my door and 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 I'll fucking report his ass to the bar. And and I'll say this guy's harassing me. I don't give a shit. I have no love for Vince anymore. Because all he does is like fucking troll me. And I'm on like I've always known that, but I'm over it. You know what I mean? Like I'm just yeah. over it. 
What did you now, what did you think about Bob? You watched that today, uh, uh him yeah, and Bob. I'm gonna play it for did, you. Did you like Bob's reaction towards all that? Like the trolling, and he would kept calling him out for it and just saying how stupid it is. Oh, the unwatchable stuff or no, Vince the lawyer trying to troll him while he's doing like an interview with him. He knew he knew what he was doing to him. He knew he was <laughs> chipping him. Yeah, but Bob's so stupid it took him a while. And my favorite part is Bob's goofing on me on how I pr- pronounce ethnicity because i always fuck it up and you know and then vince goes to bob what's your ethnicity and he goes protestant (laughs) i'm going hey emergency show i just dribbled and i'm going (laughs) you idiot protestants are religion you dumb fuck they're asking your fucking background yeah, he was asking if he was Jewish, right? And well, that that's the one thing you could say and get away with it is are you Jewish? It, it's a religion and a race, so you could have got away with that one, but right. yeah, but he but he goes Protestant. It's like what? <laughs> it's like, but these guys like try and make fun of me for being stupid, but like they 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 show how stupid they are every fucking day. But anyway, so you want to learn a little bit about Bob? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. now we're working on this, so I'm, I will say a legend right now. Okay, but because we haven't, we don't have case numbers yet. He was arrested in, I believe, Newark for possession of cocaine and intent to distribute. That's one. He was also arrested at his home for harassment. And we could only now assume it was Gina. So, again, and he did do jail time for not paying child support. And what I f- find so funny, Quad, is that on their show, they goof on when my wife claimed, which was not a fact, but claimed I wasn't paying child support. In our, you know, divorce, you know, when she served me and we were, you know, having an argument. But then these guys, there you have Bob, who was put in a slammer for not paying child support. How the fuck, Quad, how the fuck, you know, can they keep on making allegations against me? I've never been arrested. I'm up to date with all child support payments. I even, I'm paying more now to help my ex-wife out because I'm making more money. And so, like, can you imagine? They make all these accusations against me, and they're the ones who are guilty of it all, you know? Yeah, and anytime you bring it up on here, they can just ignore it and uh, not not put it on their show, you know what I mean? Like, it's great that you can put all this stuff out there, but on their side of it, they don't have to show any of it. But I think I think everybody pretty much watches all these shows in the Dabbleverse, so everyone's hearing all this shit all the time. But yeah, it no, is my- it is a little awkward, like hearing his story today about the not paying child support. Yeah, yeah he well, told about it. He did explain how he went to jail for it. But he had to. You know why? Because the day before, I did a show explaining that he did and that he's part of a class action suit against the um, against the county jail for the way they treated the inmates. So he had no way to. You know, we have him on that class action lawsuit. See, what they don't understand is I have everything. I have everything. And and they got to know that I have all this shit. Like, for instance, now, you know, everything I do is always a build. So, so here we go. Uh, let me get to this one first. So, uh, oh, shit. Hold on. Uh... I want to download this. Tell me it didn't work. Download. All right. Hopefully this will work. Okay. Oh, this is the inside of the club. So hold on. All right. Hold on a second. It's not the first one. Let me see if this is. So. All right, quad. Sorry. (coughs) Sorry, man. We could hear it, but we couldn't see it. Just no, I know. No, I'm just getting over a little cold here. I gotta find which how I get it here. Uh, 
Like, how do you see it? It's, you can't see that. Fuck. I don't know. Damn it. You know, this is the shit that drives me nuts. There's got to be a way I can play this. Let me just see. There's the movie. Click on it. Download. Gets downloaded. So there it is. But how do I fucking find it on here? Ah, Are you I playing it on like your movie player? Like you have a it's, clip it's champ like, or something like that? So here, like if this is this is it, right? And I download it. Has it come up yet? No. No. I, fuck. I don't know how to do it now. I just I fucking hate technology. Uh, here, hold on. Let me. I have a lot of luck with uh, putting it on dr a drive. Oh then yeah. You can play it from drive. Oh, so wait a second. But so usually that... it takes a minute for that stuff to process, which is unfortunate. But <laughs> yeah, if you drive, if you uh, download it on your computer and and you have a movie player. Oh, that's what I'll do. Of some yes. sort, then you can preview the movie yeah, player. Yeah, I gotta upload to YouTube then. No, you should be able to play it right off your laptop or what you got a laptop, right? Yeah, but it, like it, I, I, I think I have to upload it. Hold on, let me see. Because if I can do that, then I, you know, you know, I can play it for my YouTube. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, sorry, let me see if this works. Downloads. Uh. Nah, nah, nah. No, 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 no. There it is. So open. Uh, all right, it's a short. Go ahead. Next. Don't care. Next. You need to rate your video. Not kid friendly. Uh, fucking inappropriate language. No, I just fuck. I don't give a fuck. Man. I'm so over you. No, I, I think it'll take a while to process that too. So either way, it takes a while for. No, I usually it's quick. I mean, process. There's only ten seconds. It's fucking quick. So, oh, uh, ten second clip. All right. Yeah, it's not long. Yeah, okay. then you should definitely. Yeah, you need to add Drive because it's easy to play stuff from Drive, especially yeah, like ten second clips. Do. It's super yeah. easy. Yeah, let me just do one more. I only have two of them. Sorry, man. I, I don't, and I don't give a fuck. I know all these assholes. Look at John. He can't. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, I don't. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, of course I don't. Now let me get this one. And now we get that one. Save. All right. All right. Publish. All right. Got that going. I'll have it up there soon. Hold on. Let me just do the next one and then we'll be done. All righty. Uh, where's this one? Downloads. That one, it's inside, 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 outside. All right. All right. Invalid file format. Shit. How's it invalid? Open. Invalid. Fuck, motherfucking. How is that, man? How does that? Help me uh, out. I mean, sometimes the, the files are incorrect and your whatever your computer system won't be able to read it. Uh, I have that problem like doing iPhone and then trying to upload stuff on like my my computer. It uh, It's not an Apple computer. So like Microsoft doesn't want to work with Apple. None of this stuff wants to work on either All right, platform. Fuck this. They, this do that, they do it on purpose so this shit doesn't work. Yeah, I, I'll it can it be out. very, it can be very frustrating. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, it's it's Silent Mike on stage at Uncle Vinny's, and then it's him stumbling and dropping his prop outside. But oh, all I, I, yeah, I've seen that clip. I know what you're talking about. I saw that. Oh, and really? You seen? Um, yeah. Well, you see Bob giving Vince this a bunch of shit today for. Like how he went about recording, and I, oh, no, he obviously I pissed Shuli off. That was hilarious. Uh, Dang was it? Thanks for fiber. 
Let's guess. Today you'll destroy your critics that keep you relevant by scrolling subreddits. While you talk about at least seven-year-old achievements. At least I had seven-year-old achievements. Yeah, I mean, they don't have any. At least I was, at least you can walk into a bar. Have you ever heard a guy named Sutter and John? Yes. A lot of people have. Shit way, not so much. Bob, Bob Levy, no. Uh, I, I mean, like isn't Rome. that where everyone everyone goes to Reddit to scroll everything? That's how we uh, we all find little clips. Kevin uses them. Shilly uses them. Everybody's on Reddit looking for stuff to put up on their shows. It's not like it's not some great uh, mystery that people use all the videos that we can find. Okay, we yeah. all do it. Yep. Comment on Cardiff show you didn't host show. This is another one. Every day they come up with a new, you know, conspiracy theory. Oh, God. It's getting so old. I mean, I don't know, like, how the fuck? I mean, like, and the potato is wrong again. Every, like, Jesus. Uh, yeah, let's go. Last call. Last call. No. Let do do do. Uh, uh, I hope we get to talk more shit about Stevie Snooze later too. His Stevie snooze? snooze, Stevie Snooze. That's a good nickname, right? Stevie Loser, Stevie Snoozer, Snooze you loser. Why, did he fall asleep or something? No, but he put us all to sleep. Usually. Oh, oh, I, know. I know. He's a fucking bore. Oh, of course he is. Let's see if they show. Uh... Can you believe that <laughs> guy calls himself a comedian? Who? Steven Liu. That guy, oh, he thinks he's a comedian. That's You were talking about shitty comedians earlier. There probably isn't a more unfunny person in the entire Devilverse than Stevie Loser. Oh, I know. I, I can't even imagine him being funny. He's he's way too insecure. Um, He was never funny on BYB. He just constantly, uh, whatever, if he didn't talk shit, that's all he pretty much had. But he talked over everybody. He had horrible timing, so I'm sure I'm sure being a comedian with horrible timing is a great thing to be. I don't know why I can't find this. I've seen it a billion times. Last call. John Melendez. I don't know. Uh, I can't find it now. It doesn't matter. But anyway. I'm not having luck today, bro. Shit anyway, happens. I was the co-host. It was me and an English broad, and I was a co-host on CBS, a Brandon Tartikoff show. It was called Last Call, and at, it started out with a round table, but then as soon as they hired me, it was just me and the girl. That's it. So Cardiff is a loser and another conspiracy theorist. Why would I lie about this? And... I even told the story, and Quad, you'll love this, because while I was on the set, like the last like four weeks, and I'm there, and the English broad goes, John, you're not going to be in tomorrow. And I go, I'm not? She goes, no, um, they said you were going to be sick. I go, sick? Really? And then I went to the producer after the show. Yeah, we're getting ready. <laughs> we're replacing you with the uh, Montel Williams' brother. Now, like, how the fuck? So I found out I was getting fired by my co-host, hearing that I, I, I you know, that I, you know, that I was going to have a cold. And then, like, why would I tell that story if I weren't a co-host? It's like, yeah, it's it's so ridiculous. But they run with this horse shit nonstop. Yeah, well, I mean, I, do, how much of it do you think they they know you're going to hear and uh, they're just chipping you, trolling you? Like, you know how Vince comes on your show. He knows he knows the stuff he says to you is chipping at you, chipping at you, chipping oh, at you. 
Like, how much of what they do do they know that you'll hear about and are just trying to fuck I with think, your head? I think 90% of it is just chipping me, is just trying to get a reaction from me. Yeah, because then that continues the show for them because yeah, you're responding uh, to them and vice versa. Just like yeah. I do with Stevie Lou now, right? Like, I'm in this fucking weird cycle with the guy where I can't not talk about him because he keeps saying shit. So it's like, ah. If he just shut up for two weeks and went away, like I would never bring the guy up again, but he just can't stop. He can't. He said he was going to go away, and I was like, all right, cool. It's over. We're done. And now, fucking three days later, he's on MLC or whatever. Two days later. It, was, you know, it wasn't very long. But, you know, just to, just to finish the story about the last call thing, I, I was talking to Gilbert Godfrey about that. May he rest in peace. And I told him about me getting fired, and I found out from my co-host. And he goes, I got a better one. And I go, what? He goes, I found out I was fired from a fan letter on SNL. I go, what happened? He goes, I'm reading the letter. And they said, I'm sorry you're not going to be here next season. <laughs> and then they, and then they, and then like a day later, they fired him. He's like, how the fuck did this guy know that? He knew three days earlier? Yeah. Oh, what do you think it was one of his like uh co-hosts or something knew about it and I, was I don't know no he said like, found fan out the fan letter well, it takes a couple of days to get a letter through the mail. So they must have released their new lineup and Gilbert didn't know about it. That's fucking amazing. That's all that's hilarious. Ryan A, thanks for the two bucks. Can uh, you so was my Mon- hey Ryan, my man. I was on I was on my Harley. I was going down to Soto. And this fucking like 27-year-old broad fucking pulls is on a cell phone. I'm doing about 30, 40, on the way to the pub, of course. And she pulls in front of me. I have green and I'm in the left lane. Quad. I know you're looking down at your phone. And and I'm going down and she pulls right in front of me. I jam on the brakes. Immediately, the bike falls to the left. I land on my hand and my arm, and my left side was all road rash. And my finger got fucked up. So jammed it. And then, and then the no, husband. Was and then she was crying. She's like, "Well, her fiance," and he's he's like, "Look, you know, you know, I'll pay for the ambulance." I go, nah, just do me a favor and just pay for all the bike repair. He, and he did. And so it looked just like it did. And then um, and then uh, I drove it to the pub. <laughs> Even though it was all fucked up. Uh, dang, listen, thanks for watching. Uh, John, is, is that a sleaze stack? Is sex with you considered yeah. bestiality? No, with Baba Bowie, it's bestiality. He be Kilberger. Thanks for calling Mr. Lara out on his anti-Semitism. I did. And I'm going to play that for you. Let me just get to a few of these because Bo Bearden, my man. Stevie's a loser. Hats off to you, Duke. Skull. The Duke. The Duke. Yeah, so who is Montel Williams' brother and was he good or what the hell? What's no, up with that? I've never heard of Montel Williams having a brother. And he was a redhead, which is bizarre. Oh. <laughs> Right, because Montel's like half white or something. Or yeah, 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 and 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 he replaced me like the last three shows. Crazy, they were trying him out for another show. It wasn't, you know, because they knew the show was done, so they just said, "Let's see if we can get new talent, you know, for the future." Dang, there's a thing too. Do you think homosexuality and bestiality is similar? No. Uh, hobby addict. So a video proof of you saying. You recorded Trump call. Yeah, of course I recorded it. But it wasn't me. I had my friend Justin do it in New York. I knew that you couldn't, you know, that I would get fucked over if I did. I'm very smart. I can run things. Uh, My P.I. Dusty. Hey, buddy. Quadfather looks like a bobblehead. T.N. I know what that means. Wahapa. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit of a bobblehead. My neck isn't as strong as it used to be. Imagine that. You know what? I would never, ever make fun of 
somebody in wheelchair. I just would, you know, it's just not my style. Correcting John. Thanks for Fiverr. Jane Japan told you Herbert Spencer first coined the phrase survival of the fittest. The Wikipedia page you put out on screen showed he was right, moron. No, no. It was a Darwinian theory. All I was saying, it was a, I said Charles Darwin because it was based on Charles Darwin. That's all. Correcting John. Nice try, but swinger. Enemus. Natural selection. Yep, natural selection. Southern John making 20 years show until Carl made him a spectacle. Okay. First of all, on my political show, I was making about three, sometimes four grand a month. It weren't that bad. I mean, would you be unhappy with four grand a month? Not all. Not at all. And I had sponsors, Bet Online. I had Manscaped. I had uh, Blue Chew. I mean, I, I was doing fine, you know, and I was teaching. I I was doing very well, you know, and like all these guys that like they have all these theories about me. Hobby addict. Thanks for the bucks. If you did any prep, this might not be a shit show. I want it to be a shit show. You understand that? I don't want to do any prep. That's the charm of me. Actually, I do prep like crazy. I mean, I just haven't got to. I mean, I. I watch Bob and Vince. I watch MLC. Like I'm like I so I know what I'm gonna talk about. You understand? And we already covered Stevie Losers idiotic comments. So and then now we're gonna get to Bob and Vince, and that's gonna be the show. Ryan, hey, thanks for the box. Can you give me those tips on uh I don't know? You know, I, I have no idea. Ryan, why are you being a dick today? Monotone Matt. Damn, John, you wipe your nose with your hand a thousand times. You know what? I, I have a bit of a cold. Spa day. I got a flu shot, though. Quad, do you get flu shots? No, no, no. All right, because I got mine. I, and, like, I had a sore throat for, like, a couple hours, and then it went away. And yesterday I felt like shit. And today I'm almost, like, 100%. It's amazing. Yeah, that's why I quit getting flu shots because they made me feel like crap for a day every time I got one. Oh, really? I I would think that you should because you know because you are in a wheelchair, so you're probably susceptible to more like you know health like things like that. Like, right? Nah, I got a pretty good immune system. I'm in pretty good health in all in all, considering. But yeah. Not everyone in a wheelchair is in the same shape I am, so it's it's but it's case by case, I would say. But you do suffer from atrophy, right? Yeah, yeah, my legs. Yeah, yeah. Spa day, which I it, it saddens me, man. Thanks for the fiber. So why do you only type with your right hand? Did you straight stroke? <laughs> um, he said Stokes. That's what fucked me up because I'm used to. People spell it correctly. Did your strokes impact your motor skills? I think quad has more movement. Quad, please take off the hat. Are you bored? What if I Vince the lawyer now? I got to take off my hat like Vince lawyer. Nope. Uh, Coattail Stevie KJ Fury. Yeah, you ain't kidding. And so, yeah, it, you know I. Yeah, I'm. You know I took typing and I can type with two hands. But I make so many mistakes, it's quicker with just like just the way I do it, you know? Yeah, well, and you can think about me doing a show with freaking useless hands. I I can still type one peck at a time, but it's still fucking I make it work and it happened. So we're we're getting it done here. Oh, by the way, did you see how jelly Stevie was? And now he has quad father on. And then Brad's like, yeah, because he doesn't have to pay him. And I'm like, yeah, but guess what, Kev? You know, first of all. I do like you, Derek, and, and you know that. I'm saying about like I've had congressmen on, congresswomen on, I've had James Carble on, I've had Larry the Cable Guy on, I've had fucking you name it, Jay Leno, Rain Wilson, fucking the late great uh Richard Lewis, Howie Mandel. You think that I ever paid any of these people to come on? No. Yeah. No, you just fucking Guests come on, and if I came on your show, 
you know, I, I can ask you for any money. I think Stevie Lou paid me that time. I don't even remember. No, I no. I don't think you guys paid. No, you came on as a favor. No, you you uh, you offered to pay him for coming on your show, and then yeah. um, and then you, he was like, "Ah, I'll come on, BYB." No, I love how he acts like uh, like he he did everything for BYB. Like we we weren't doing nothing on our own without him. And what I had already been on MLC. I had already been on a bunch of shows too. I don't like the guy is insane, man. I I love how he likes to try to spin a good yarn though. It's it's. It's entertaining to watch him lie. Well, I hope that my lost interest really fucking takes him to task because, I mean, that whole thing was like unprovoked. He just get because I don't really talk about Stevie Lou that much. Like it's not even like he's not on my radar. And then like I like he just came out of nowhere. Even Brennan was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> it was so weird. Yeah, no, I would. I would only... love to get that Kenyatta guy on, though. That, that's oh, that's got to be my goal for the next week is trying to get that guy on any day. I know, but I, I can get him. I'll go live right then. But quad, it's only going to backfire on Stevie because, like, by him going crazy like that, it's only going to make people go. All right, you know, we're now... him. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna say yeah, it's getting to them. Keep doing yep. it. The trolling, working. Yep. yep, keep going. Full speed ahead. And I'm sure I'm people sorry. are like, Stevie Stuttering John is better than you. Shut up, you know. And then, and then he's going crazy. Nah, I I love it. I love seeing him spiral. And I that little brief moment where he was crying and whining, like I can't believe people uh, uh, wanna wanna see this guy on a podcast after what he did to me. Broke my arm. no. Everybody hates your guts. They love that you got your arm broken. There yeah. he was like, oh, sportsmanship. When I was a kid, like, oh, if a guy got hurt on the field, you would kneel and be like, oh, I hope he's okay. No, Stevie, we know you. We don't want you to be okay. We like that you got your arm broke. We don't really care. Yeah. So I know that's a horrible thing to say, and I usually wouldn't really say that about too many people, but Stevie Lou's on my shit list, so I no, don't, I don't really care that he got whacked on his arm. Hey, Steve. And you know what a shit heel he is. Let's not forget, you asked me if you could sleep in my room in Atlanta City. What did I do? Of course. You asked me if I can get your ride back home. What did I do? Got your ride. What do you do? You renounce me and say your mom's box. You're a fucking ungrateful asshole. And how and I love the fact that you call me a loser, considering the fact that you are the epitome of loser. Thank you. Yeah, uh, and I'll I'll be the first to say I'm an absolute nobody, but for Steve Lou to act like he did something, like he has the right to talk shit about you, that's pathetic, man. Uh, do you think Kevin Brennan put him up to saying the your mom's box thing, or do you think that yeah. he came up with it, or or just uh going against you? Period. Did Kevin do you think he was put up to it? I think Kevin said fuck with John, and it's and and Stevie was is an ONA fan and said it, but I didn't know that was an O an ONA fan thing because I never fucking listened to ONA. Oh, because I was on no. Stern. But I mean, like, do you think Kevin was like, "Hey, go burn the bridge, like, go, go, yeah. fuck with John to the point where oh, you yeah. won't be back"? Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I don't care because TV, he doesn't make any money. I make more in my Writers Guild pension than what he makes. You understand that? Like, I mean, I make <laughs> my pension is more. Like, Stevie, you realize I pay for my rent plus some. Just for my pension. Just saying it? Yeah, I mean, you don't have a pension. And I haven't even started collecting my SAG after pension yet. So, or my LAUSD one. So, I mean, it, you know, shut up. Uh, John's right with McCann. Thanks for the book. Senior citizens using ball washing is uber lame. I'm not a senior citizen. Who's a senior citizen? Isn't a senior city? Uh, isn't a well, isn't a senior citizen sixty five? Uh, I w when does AARP start sending you letters at like fifty five? I think it's oh, yeah, yeah, 65, yeah. maybe. But I was technically. 
Like, yeah, you, you got to get the senior citizen discount, right? Like yeah, when you yeah. go out to dinner, then I think that's like 65. Yeah. Um, funeral director, my man, thanks for two bucks. Little birdies are saying quad ball washed you last night. Uh, no, John, you're a tub of comedian. Insult to call you on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have you ever seen me? I don't think so. And I'm talking to the live, not some stupid video that they edited to make me look bad. Spa day. Thanks for five. How is the Leno reunion planning going? Was Kevin Eubanks invited? Yes. Is Jay going to be there? Maybe. Open bar. Why do you care? You ain't going. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. John's ready with can. Thank you, Lux. You trade your kids to be on MLC. No? <laughs> I can't believe they think that MLC is somehow the, like, the fucking Tonight Show of podcasting. Sorry, I was already on the best fucking two shows ever. I don't think MLC rates in any way. And anybody who thinks that is a fucking loser, and then we go back to Stevie Lou. <laughs> yeah, no, it, I think that's what started it all, right? Like, Stevie Lou started getting on. He even talked about that today, the fact that, like, uh, as soon as Bob Levy left and stop going on MLC is kind of when he got a shot to be on MLC consistently. And ever since then, like you could, you could see his head was just growing after that point. Cause he started getting in some reps. Ray had him on all the time. MLC was having him all the time. You could see he started thinking he was big shit and everybody in this universe kind of knows that we're all small time. You know what I mean? They're, it's a small little universe over here. We're a small oh, yeah. portion of, of the course, internet. Yeah. And we're nothing over here. So, like, for anyone, even Kevin Brennan, to think, like, we're big shit, big dogs over here. Yeah, I don't yeah, even I, think he does, do you? No, I would never be that delusional. That's ridiculous. Right. Like, Oha, a million junk the hell out of you. I don't know what that means. It, it, you know, what did I say about a million? I, don't remember. I forget. Good question. Spot A, takes a fiver. If Leno can't make the reunion, will you hire Kate Meany as a Jay impersonator? Oh, God, you're a shit way with that dumb Kate Me. I mean, that Jay Leno. I've seen that. How how lame was that? Yeah, it's it it was weird. It's like a weird mashup. Yeah, I didn't really. She does have a kind of a big jawline, I guess, maybe a little bit. I think she's super hot. Like, I, I. I think Kate Meany. Let me show you a picture, Quad. Oh, I've seen her enough. Stop! No, 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 no. Yes, she's <laughs> she's not ugly by any means, but she's not no, my sure. type. I would say. And I called my I called a router on it too. I said, I said, I said, Kate. I know you put that up because you look fucking amazing. She said, "Yep." <laughs> Hold on. Okay, here it is. Hold on. Let me blow this up a little bit. <clears throat> now. You've seen her in the. I seen her in a like an American flag I mean, bikini. I mean, two piece. Really? Yeah, she's got. I mean, a year, year and a half ago, maybe. I had. I actually have a picture of it. I could send it. Oh, send it to me. I mean, look how beautiful she is. I mean, that is gorgeous. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't I say she's ugly. No, I don't no. Yeah, she's pretty. Problem. She's a pretty girl. I don't see any problem with the jaw. I think that's perfection, to be honest with you. That's my type. You know what I mean? I, it totally my type. Uh, all right. I mean, just do a couple more. Super I'm a dirty me. blonde. I like dirty blondes. Isn't, uh, isn't, she, isn't she considered dirty blonde? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Maybe trashy blonde. Maybe that's what I'm... Okay, yeah, you're just going to keep saying, isn't she a trashy... You're just going to keep saying, isn't she that, though? No. Zach Cotman, thanks for five. Hey, five four loser. I'm five seven and a half. What have happened to the private major loser? What do you mean? We, we just started on Sunday. Did he finally drop you? Also in court talks, you left your son in car in the car while you drank. What? No. 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 What he's referring to, Quad, which I don't even know why I have to um, 
justify this is uh, he, Oscar and I, when he was like five or six, uh, we were building a go-kart. And he didn't want to get out of my car to go get a go-kart um, at Home Depot. I had to get the wood. He was like, I'm not, you know, I don't want to go in there. I go, all right, stay in here. And then I locked the doors and I, because I didn't want anyone to be able to get in to steal them. And I said, here's my phone. If anybody, you know, fucking you call and, uh, you know, call your mom or call like the plate, whatever. And then I went in for like five minutes. But, but again, you know, if you're in an argument, like, you know, a, you know, a litigation with your ex-wife, Things are gonna get exaggerated. And let me just say, have you seen the movie Kramer versus Kramer Quad? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Just like his wife, played by Meryl Streep, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin. She yep. yeah, she lied about that the kid got hurt on the swing set under his watch. Like, you know, I mean, that's what they do. You know, it's silly for anyone to even think that's like anything, you know what I mean? Uh, I do, yeah. Steve Hanning, thanks for seven. This is my last super chat. Go to reha rehab and stop broadcasting, John. You're not a hero. You become an internet beggar. Thanks for I never heard you begging. Wait a minute. I don't, ever beg. I don't beg. I mean, I want to see begging, go watch the Still Toe Morning Show. That's where the real begging happens. Oh, dude, what's going on there, man? First of all, I think a lot. Do you know? Do you have any inside dirt on that? <laughs> uh, not necessarily. I mean, everybody is saying that she's on drugs and whatnot. I think for the most part, that's an internet troll. I can't imagine that she's like a, a meth head or some shit. But whatever. I'm not going to accuse them of anything besides uh, they they definitely went down the. Uh, they, okay, a year ago, everything seemed fine. Uh, they they were fighting past all the trolling. They were ignoring it. Chad came along. Maybe uh, the April LaRue and the, the kids book shit came out. Eh, you could see that there was a, a little bit of a problem at that point. But you, what is you April knew LaRue that she... Said his first wife? Was she named April too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So both wives are named April? Or maybe it's Ashley LaRue. Ashley LaRue. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, you know, maybe you should try for May next or June. <laughs> a, pick a different month, any other month. Kirby 20. Yeah, but I, I I definitely uh she's she wasn't made for the internet, and I don't even know what happened there. She just started reading comments and you know, maybe she went and checked out Reddit, maybe she went and checked out some of the mean stuff people say about her. Then she found out like they knew everything. You know, like if you think that everybody doesn't know everything about you, if you've shown your face on screen, you're an idiot. If yeah. you if you've gone on a podcast and like been there on a podcast consistently, like everybody in this entire universe has already looked up everything about you, and it's out there whether you think it is or not. So maybe she was in a like denial that people knew shit about her, or I don't even really. Or that she doesn't like lies, like as if people haven't been lying about her since the first day she was on the internet. Like, what? What was? She, or is everything they're saying total bullshit? It's something. There's something weird going on there. It's hard to say. Kirby twenty three. <clears throat> Thanks for two bucks. I always thought it was an act, but Elisa is crazy. Yeah, you see the Elisa Jordana shit. She's trying to offer up some sex to the police officer when oh he came. God. Pretty much. She is a fucking loon. A loon. Uh, old Craig, then to the squad. How do you feel about Karen rats like John? What? Uh, he's, is he calling you a Karen? Like, you know, they call, I guess. We don't have to answer that. I don't know. Narcissist nasty. I, I've never known you to rat on anybody about anything yet, so I wouldn't no. say that, no. Narcissist Nancy, the narcissist. Thanks for those reading comprehension, not your best skill set. Oh, it is. It is, you know, but uh, I get sick of correcting you assholes on those things. Now let's get to the uh, Bob and Vince show. Uh -oh. 
Uh, excuse me. Now, yeah, this is like it's pretty bad. Let's see. You, you know what I mean? I know you're a douche, but I know you do things, douche. How many times <laughs> does he say, like, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, it's that he got it to the point where he is because I, I didn't have the time to devote to it. This was like two years ago, Bob. Yeah. But then uh, I got a text and it said, come on, Uncle Rico. I remember this. And okay. uh, yesterday he was yapping about mm -hmm. him apparently not being in uh, Cape Coral. Let's see what has. I'm lying in bed. I'm watching that fucking bull gnome, Vince the That's evil you. lawyer. And I'm super chatting his fucking dwarf ass. <laughs> but he starts to claim that somehow I'm in Cape Coral for bike week. And I was spotted riding bitch. On some guy's fucking motorcycle. Hey, Vince, I'm in L.A., you dumb fuck. So he's right. Wait, stop no. it. He's riding bitch in L.A., not in Cape Coral. Listen, I have video and we went through it. You got to tell me, Bob, you, you've known him longer than me, but you're going to yeah. see the video here. You let me yeah. know if this is John Evan Melendez. Yeah. And now, John, I'm Bob, I'm such a pussy. I don't even know anything about my motorcycles at all. All right, I'm quad. Watch how this is set up. Vince has already told Bob about this, that he's going to do this. And they're trying to say that it's the same sneakers. So in other words, that's the only indication they have that it's me. Now, let me tell you something, which I can do, but I, 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 I don't feel like doing it right now. On April 13th, on this video that he's going to play, I was on a date at Rocco's Tavern with a woman that looked way older than her picture. And I was there. I had a chicken parm hero. I gave her the other half. And uh, and then I went to the pub. And my credit cards will prove exactly that. But Vince is just doing his usual ridiculously stupid troll. To You know what I mean? And, and now I'm doing Bob now whenever I hear him. But that's what he, that's what Vince is doing. Why? So he could get at me. Now, here is the here is what the end result is. I'm done with Vince. You know what I mean? Like, and I know I've said it so many times, but this time it's for real. I don't like him. And I don't know how you feel about him, but I just do not like the little cretin. Because it's just no, I I I feel the same way ish. I don't really know him personally. I've only hung out on, on uh, your show and hung out with him at all. Uh, he do, he doesn't bother me, and I just I don't really like his gimmick. I see the gimmick. Everyone sees through it. Like even uh, Bob today is saying, like, yeah, you do your douchey shit in your douchebaggy way that you do douchebaggy stuff. It, it was it was. I mean, that's really what Vince is. Like he does. I, yeah, I does he do like, shit like that? Like, if you've hung out with him in real life, is he just normal in real life, or is he always trying to pull shit in real life, too? He's just a dick. He's unlikable. Now, this is a legend, and I'm getting this from my PI, Dustin. Now, I'm not going to confirm this. This is a rumor. But apparently, his wife... They have an open relationship, and his wife does, does sleep around. Now, I don't know if this is true. Devin Alexander, don't be mad at me. But that is what my PI has said. Because he, he has seen Lori Kaufman in and with people at restaurants in Manhattan. That's all I'm going to say. And I'll leave it at that. And if you don't believe me, that's up to you. But I have it on good authority. And this is the same guy that has all the arrest records of all these assholes. I have a feeling that Vince is not being truthful. But I'm again, this is just a rumor. It's not been verified. But soon we might have pictures. But let's proceed. Well, does... Uh... Does Vince get to sleep around too, or is it just her? That well, would be he, the next question. He does, but he's too he's so ugly and he's a dwarf and he's got no hair that he ain't he, pulling no tail. Right. He ain't pulling any tail. 
I mean, he could say he's a lawyer, but as soon as he says he's married, who's going to want to be with him? Like, a hooker. Really? Yeah, I guess. Hey. But he'd be too paranoid about contracting a disease for, in the case that Laurie Kaufman on 90 William Street decides to have sex with him. Yeah, he's got a pretty hot wife there, too. So I guess uh, he he probably isn't looking up. Ah, come on. We're guys. Let's stop lying. We all want to chase tail. It just is what it is. I know, Every I know. tail that's yeah, it's just how it and is. That, and that's the thing. Like, you know, say what you want about me. But one of the main reasons that I that that my marriage didn't work was because I just weren't ready to be married. You know, I mean, I love I love my wife. But it was just, you know, the spark had dissipated, if you will. You know what I mean? And there are a lot I of do. Times, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, because th there's that old cliche, show me a hot chick, I'll show you a guy who's sick of fucking her. And, you know, that is that is the case in a lot of ways. And, and I think that, that, that partially happened to me. I was just like, all right, I've been there, done that. You know, and it, it's like, you know, are you going to have pizza every day? I love pizza, but you want it every day? I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to these idiots. So, of course, Vince now. And by the way, by him putting this up, he's only trying to get at me. And I'm over it. But here we go. Oh, I've never ridden on one. I never would. Uh, to me, they're just stupidly dangerous. you but... got to be able to put your feet onto the ground, so it would be ridiculous. Yeah, that's true, too. And what... I saw it. it. Looks like John Edward Melendez. You tell me though. Okay. Defame me. Then you said I don't do sober shows. Hey, Baldy, I I didn't drink Saturday show and Sunday show. Wow. Okay, where? Take a look. On April thirteenth, I was here in California. It was a Saturday, and I did my show here from California. And you know, I was in California. Because I don't have a microphone. And Vince knows that. But this is Vince being a troll and being an asshole and getting a rise out of me. Now, did he succeed at it? Yeah. But he also ruined his friend. I don't want anything to do with the guy. Now, just document that this is Cape Coral. It's it's bike night. And yeah. to make this town even trashier, we brought in all the uh, biker gangs and people that just have sure. motorbikes, I guess. I thought that was that's someone riding bitch, right? It's the girl. Yeah, on the yeah. Back. That's, okay, that's, that's not John. What you Hold call. on. All right, just let you just to give the audience some idea because I don't know if, if people are naive as I am, but I didn't know what riding bitch meant. Yeah. Okay, here it comes. Okay. That's John. L L Bob, L look at his pants right there. And this, those are his sneakers oh, right there. Okay. Now, can you imagine? I'm asking you. First of all, there's obviously a girl's hand with bracelets. Watch, too. Yeah. I don't Isn't wear that a watch. watch, like an eye watch? Yes. I don't have a black helmet. But, I mean, everything about this. And no man, no guy, you know, it. there's not, that. that would not happen. But. Bob, Bob's in on this. He knows Vince has already told Bob, pretend it's John, and watch how bad of actors these idiots are. Yeah. Sneakers, they are his sneakers. That's Holy what that exactly like Bob <laughs> quad. Like, like Bob knows my sneakers. First of all, I have about five. Yeah, actually. No, it's funny you said that. I, that's what I was trying to figure out was like, how does he know what kind of shoes he wears? I I don't really go around looking at dude's feet and be like, oh, okay, well, put that in the memory bank. That guy wears this kind of shoe for the future. It's like, what? Huh? It's so stupid. First of all, I have Adidas, I have Pumas, I have Vans, and I have Converse. But suddenly, those were Nikes we were looking at, right? Yeah, and I don't even have any Nikes. By the yeah, way, quite I see you can see the swoosh on those. 
Yeah, I don't have any Nikes. And you know what Nikes uh, 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 stands for? No. I mean, I hope that I'm going to educate everybody. Nike was the Greek goddess of victory. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you, know you meant it was going to be like an acronym, like uh, Adidas all day. No, I dream I about me. sex. Like one of I those. I just things. learned that I was play, I was playing trivia crack, and and it came up, and I was like, ah, interesting. Okay, yeah, right. Maybe this is the douchebag. Exactly. So I don't know why he's claiming he wasn't running bitch there, but uh, John Emery Melendez, you are busted. There's no defamation. Really? There is defamation, Vince. I don't need defamation. Don't worry. I'm not going to sue you because obviously there's no damages. But you just ruined any relationship with me. Now, he thinks this is what Vince is going to do, Quad. Vince is going to go and now, like, do his show. And now he won't because I'm telling him. Like, so anything I say that he's going to do, now he's got to do the opposite because I just fucking, I'm the master of puppets here, you know. But now he's going to try and get my good graces by, like, complimenting me, like, you know, overwhelming me. It ain't going to work this time. And he's going to trash shit with and Carla. and But it ain't going to work this time. I don't want anything to do with the guy. I really don't. And I told him, and I know I've said this earlier, but for everybody coming in a little later after fucking a pinky stop, I don't want anything to do with it. And Devin Alexander, you guys are cool. Lori, if it's true you have an open marriage, I'll be in New York soon. So if you want to have a date, um, um, I'll be up for it. Well, so, who would you rather bang? Uh, Stevie Lou's wife or Vince's wife? Vince's wife. Vince's wife. Because Stevie Lou, I, ugh, to follow that fucking, that redheaded. Yeah, now that you put it that way. No, no. I, I wouldn't want to follow either one of them. But, but. I think Lori, if I had sex with Lori, and not to brag about my sexual prowess, I um, I believe after sex with me, she'll never, she'll never want to go back to the bald gnome ever. Scout. Well, in all fairness, I don't think uh, maybe Stevie Lou ain't getting any, any pussy from his wife anyway. So uh, no, and I'm and, sure everybody uh, in his neighborhood might be. And Quad, I mean, let's face it. Yeah, Stevie Lou's never getting back with his wife. That's all. She lost all attraction to the man. He's a cowardly stonehead. But let's get back to the two losers. Information claiming he has against me, Bob, at all. No, no, because yes, you can even Bob see the show arrested. there's a flat. Okay, yeah. so okay, so Bob, bad actor. It's so obvious. Bob, you can't act. Yeah, I mean, and we know that you knew, so please. This is the next topic, and the way Bob and I decided we're going to do it is basically small clips that will lead us into discussion, and mm -hmm. in the following weeks, we'll be able to bring in the callers and have people ask Bob questions, and here we go with the mm -hmm. biggest question a lot of people have about you, Bob. And sure. yes, he's, yes, Bob Levy was arrested. Let's stop it there. Uh, wow. They're claiming, uh, they're claiming you were arrested, and I got this question on my last show bob yes yeah well there's some more acting right like bob yep. doing that whole so bit right there in addition to any it's, other arrest let's just so speak bad, about the Bart, right? child support arrest is it true that you were arrested for failing to pay child Stevie support? Lewis. I w yes i was uh there was a warrant out for my arrest and it, it basically it came a letter came in in the mail and i opened it up i called the person it was whatever the courthouse or whatever and they said, just come in and, and talk to them. Because I explained what happened. My son is 18. He's living. Now he's lying. Now I know he's lying here. And here's the tell. He's going to start touching his face. That's an indicator. He's lying. He failed to pay child support. 18 in New York. When, as soon as you turn 18 in New York, New Jersey, you don't have to pay anymore. In L.A., though. And it's happened with my daughter and my son. Even though they turn 18, like my youngest is 18. But I still have to pay until he graduates high school. Now, they don't have that same rule in Jersey. So here we go. 
Gotcha. Thing with me. And the problem was that they, we were behind because of the fact I paid her a check for 1500 at Bullshit. one point. Bullshit. Okay? Which you can't do. You have to go to the court. That's not true. But when somebody's saying, I need money, I need money, I sent her a check. So That's not right. Bob is lying. You don't have to go through the court. You could easily pay, and there's no complaint. So once I was pulled over by the cops, I had a warrant out for my arrest. They took me in. I went in there. I acted like an asshole. I ended up staying there a lot longer than I... I would have been out the next day. They had the video caught. Boom. I was bailed out for $400. And using my and things. No more. God. And that was I'm it. I never had to pay anything because everything was cleared up, which would have been if I would have been there. And I've talked about this many times. And my son was 18 and living with me. So it's when you deal with companies, whatever they are, businesses like uh, child support shit, they're idiots that work there. Anybody that knows anything. Child support is not business. Well, yeah, he's talking. I was gonna say he's talking about government agencies, not corporations. <laughs> no, it's not a business. <laughs> he fuck. He's so fucking stupid. Look, quad. I mean, he, he went to high school for six years and couldn't graduate. What does that tell you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, he's an idiot. And the way that Vince kisses his ass like he's Andrew Dice Clay, I. It's so embarrassing to me. Bob is not a great comic. He doesn't, he's never headlined good rooms quite. Look, you know, I'm not going to blow my own horn, but I will. I've headlined every fucking, like the improvs, the laugh factories, the punchlines, the quality comedy clubs. Bob hasn't. He does these shitty shows at fucking firehouses. But he thinks he's so great. And now Vince is blowing smoke up his ass like he's the next coming of Stephen Wright. Yeah, but that's what he's doing, right? Like he's he's trying to get him so that he could get him in a position where he can use him. Vince is trying to use Bob. So I think he's just kissing his ass. Is that yep. that's gotta be a huge part of it, right? Yeah, but he also does love Bob for some weird I a lot of people love Bob. I mean, I, I think he's a pretty good guy from uh my experience. In my experience, I have no issues with Bob Levy. I think he's funny. Uh he was good with Anthony like when they were doing their show together and I know you don't probably like me bringing up Anthony but uh I don't whatever. I, I thought they had like good chemistry. They were funny together. So that most of my experience with Bob has been like that kind of stuff. And he's I'm funny with him. I'm talking about stand up. Wise. Stand up, straight up you know, stand up. He's he's he's, he's average. better than most, but he I wouldn't put him up on, like we were talking about Florentine. Like he's a he's a few notches down from Florentine in my mind. Oh yeah, absolutely. Florentine's and, and, hilarious. And, and, and I know you never saw me. Pro I promise he's a, he's a few notches below me too. And he but he'll never admit that, but he is because all. all they base everything on some 10-year fucking barbecue restaurant. It, it's ridiculous. It, it, and it's not... If you went to see me, Quad, and maybe if I'm in Oregon, too bad you didn't come, you know, when I headlined the Portland Film Festival, I mean, Comedy Festival, I mean, you would have seen me, and I was the headliner. So, you know, what does that tell you? Like, and there was so a lot... And there's a lot of past comics there, but I'm the I'm the closer, you know. I mean, it's so silly, but okay. Thing that goes in there and has to pay and deal with them, they're morons. And he's like, "Yeah, we had that file. We put it in the cabinet. You don't put it in the cabinet. This is stuff that you need." I went down there four or five times with my kid, explaining it, and they still didn't understand it. All right. So leading up to the Bob, you were making payments mm -hmm. through the court that would make payments to your ex-wife. Is that yes, correct? Yes, that's how it works. And then for some reason, you decided to bypass that system and send her a check. Directly. It was an older one. It was from a while ago. You know what I mean? It was like fucking. It could have been like two years. I don't believe for it. a little while, and it's basically all, all I care about is just throw them in. Throw them in at the beginning. You know, have something that works at the beginning, then do the new stuff. Because sometimes you can't follow Mike. 
to get your shit back together and then go on stage. Right. It was basically nothing. It's basically, you know, she, she might show a couple of breasts, but she wasn't supposed to. When Bob Levy's daughter, who's an online sex worker. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Uncle Vince. When's the comedy coming? We get it. Uncle Shitwear is a crybaby. Move along. They were talking about that. So, Bob, I don't know anything about the Bob Levy sex worker. So your daughter, your stepdaughter is on OnlyFans? Yeah, she does. She did an OnlyFans for a little while. And it's basically, you know, she talked to us before it. And it was basically nothing. It's basically, you know, she, she might show a couple of breasts, but she wasn't supposed to when she talked to us. All right, that's a lie, Quad. I've seen the videos. She is full out playing with her pussy. He, he's a fucking liar. See, I hate, like, how do you lie when the video's out there? You know what I mean? Like, and I said, you know what I mean? I fucking can't stand saying that. But well, hopefully he's the, hasn't been watching it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's his stepdaughter, so, I mean. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But seriously, like. No, still. But. No, she shows full veg. So stop it. It's not any innocent thing. It's like when Keanu fucking says, oh, I, do you like Keanu? Yeah, personally, yes. Yes, that's a, I just, says. she was on, uh, you could have popped in there and given her a bad time the other says. night. Uh, she was there. Yeah, it's yeah. So uh, I gave her a bad time about that too, the transatlantic or the, whatever yeah, her the, little the, accent right. thing is. It's my betrothed, and she's mostly singing about like she's in France at a cafe. Shut up! Shut up! Let's go. Cool. Uh, also, I think I caught something there. Like, there's no way Vince the lawyer doesn't know about his stepdaughter. He was like, "Oh, I don't know anything about this." Uh, Bob Levy's stepdaughter is an online Vince is sex worker. He's like, he's been on your show how many times? He's a fucking liar. He, everything is just, but yeah, you know, that, lawyers, that shows it right there. Yeah, if you're a lawyer, you're a liar. So here we go. To us, but I guess she did, and it's no big deal. I have so, no problem with Bob. I mean, we are we so prude in this country. The fact that we oh, somehow think that the human body is gross or dirty, or we're so well, turned maybe off by it. it. Yeah. Lack of repetitions for John. Yeah, and, and well, it's simple to John. But mm -hmm. I'll ask it to you: How could mm -hmm. John improve his stand-up comedy? But he's got to do it. He's got. He All right. Now this is what irritates the fuck out of me, and I know by telling Vince this, it does. Vince, Bob is not, or will never be, anybody that should tell anyone about the art of stand-up comedy. I'm sorry. Bob does crowd work. He doesn't have a real act. It's crowd work. He will never have a special, and he will never get fucking passed at any real place because it's all crowd work, and it's the same crowd work every single time. But Vince, by you kissing his ass is, is ridiculous, and why do we care what Bob thinks about what a comic should be or do? And I, I mean, Kevin Brennan had said he does crowd work. Uh, Ray DeVito said he does crowd work for the most part. So it's not, you're not the only person saying that. Uh, a lot of people say like, oh yeah, if, you, if Bob goes up before you, you, you're not going to get to do any crowd work because everything will have been said. Uh, Kevin Brennan said he liked when he goes up before him because he could, he could do a bunch of crowd work and then it would like steal all of Bob's material by going up before him and saying that shit. Yeah, like I know but but, but but the but the fact that Vince is kissing his ass like he's some kind of like comedic guru grandmaster. Hey, grandmaster, his own words. That's what he said today. You're a grandmaster. I mean, how the fuck I mean, I, I'm sorry like I you know, I've been doing stand up for 25 years. How the fuck are you going to say that Bob Levy is something, is some no, no real comic goes, oh, Bob Levy, he's great. He says he's writing stuff, then fucking do it, you know? Go out and, and even... Why, Bob? I don't want to. I don't have to. I don't need that money. 
And I I did it, like I said, for 25 years. I'm over it. Comedy is a real grind, grind anyway, right? Get your shit back There's together for and then go on stage. What'd you say, Quad? I said comedy is a real grind. It doesn't seem oh, like an enjoyable thing. Dude, it's it constant sucks. travel and you travel, yeah. and then they have to do the radio in the morning. Then you gotta like take a nap in the afternoon, so you so you're perky for the show. And when I and if like if you're headlining like uh, a week in Vegas and or in Reno, it's fucking eight or nine shows for the week. So you're doing like double, sometimes triple shows. You know, sometimes you forget. What if, if you do the same joke in one, you know, one show after the next one? It's fucking, it sucks. Age and and get paid again because but I, performing is great, but I hate everything else. I'm sure after being, you know, two and a half years off, it's not it's not going to be the same. And if he's doing the same that he was doing, it's 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 going to be totally outdated. Nobody wants to hear about the Kardashians and all that. Nobody wants to hear about the Kardashians. This is the funniest thing. Quad. The, the Kardashians are still very relevant. They still have a Especially show. Especially this week, right? Especially after yeah. OJ just died, right? I mean, <laughs> Give them a mean, whole new like, life. I mean, I could do Kardashian bits. As long as they have their show, they're still relevant, Bob. They're still relevant. I can still do Kardashian material. And the whole thing, the bit he's referring to, Quad, is not about the Kardashians. It's about celebrities who name their kids stupid names. So I start with them, with Northwest, and I go into Gwyneth with Apple and, you know, uh, Prince Harry with Archie. And, you know, it's all about that. It has nothing to do with just the Kardashians. He's I mean, but they don't know what I do because they haven't seen me. Bob has, but Bob, you know, he's, I'm sorry. Bob's not very bright. Quad. Yeah. Plus, I mean, he can't be, he can't be giving you praise and being on the Shuli Network. This, I, when's the last time you heard one of those guys give you a compliment on the Shuli oh, Network? Oh, There's never. 0% of it. No, I'm just no. saying it's not, they can't do it. It's not part of the uh, business model. No. Spa day, thanks for the fiber. Quad did more preparation to fall out of a tree than you did for your shows. Uh, well, I don't know if he prepped that. I think that was an accident. No, I did. I did. I spent half the day getting plastered drunk to, to live up to that moment. What were you drinking? Whiskey and beer. I I think I had like a... I was golfing. Uh, like all... <laughs> when? Yeah. And one yeah, beer. For sure. I was a big time whiskey drinker with beer backers, and I drank a lot every day. So I was kind of a lush. Man, my super chat sucked today. I fucking, I haven't had one 10 or a 20. I don't give a shit. Like I said, I can just stop doing this. Short Fridays, thanks for two bucks. Why couldn't Oscar keep the parts that God gave him? Um, Oscar's my youngest son. I, I think you have my kids mixed up. I don't think it means what you think it means. Short Fridays, thanks to the two bucks. That was a Princess Bride reference. I'm sure you knew, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Short Fridays, thanks to two bucks. Why do you keep having boring ass quad on? I like quad. He seems to be very normal in this crazy fucking dabble verse. Uh, and we yeah. have similar enemies too. That's why yeah. we, we hate Stevie Lou's guts. It's a good yes. day to talk about it. EFS, thanks for the fiber. Great political show the other day. You're like the liberal Ted Nugent, <laughs> only you're not a real musician and no one cares what you have to say. Well, Jesus. Well, Jesus, well, EFS. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. It, you're kidding. But, uh, but Quad, the funny thing is, I played trumpet. I was in the old street band. I I played guitar. I was in. Every, I played for all my high school fucking career and every every homecoming, everything that we did. 
my I, my band played. And then I got two record deals. And I got two fucking songs on two film soundtracks. And I jammed with Joe That's Walsh. So you got discovered. That's how you got and discovered. I fucking Joe Walsh and Leslie West. What do you think and about Ted Nugent Robinson. now? You said you opened for Ted too, right? Yeah. Or uh, comedy wise. No, no, the band. I oh okay. I traveled the fucking country with Ted. Mike uh, B. I mean, you thinks- you probably like, like the guy though, right? Ted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mike B. Thinks about I know your politics theory. You were never on the Stern Show. Just kidding. <laughs> there's there's the tweet of the day. I was never on. I mean, every lie they say. Begging a mod for mortgage, laptop, money, super loser. What? A mod? Uh, that's Stevie Lou begging Kevin Brennan for a new laptop. Remember? Because he, oh, he wanted to be his yeah. mod or producer. Come on, yes. Kevin. Get me a MacBook. Yes. And Kevin didn't bite on that one for a second. He's like, no. nah, we're good. I can't, I can't believe Stevie Lou asked him for a fucking laptop. I mean, what a fucking grift. Greg Seibar, thanks for the five bucks. I'm surprised Kevin still talks to him. I'd be like, what? What? Get the fuck out of here. Penis drink on my man. Uh, point is, you make more money if the WATP made fun of you. Um, I don't think it was uh, solely WATP. I think Every fucking show around made fun of me. And so now uh, I make money, but I was making money even before that. And I went away for eight months and I was making six, seven grand a month teaching. <laughs> Kel Nares, I am Dr. Remulek. Dr. Remulek. <laughs> and uh, you know, you know what kills me? Uh, in is like I watch Brennan and he's got like this chinless panini and they're giving him like hundreds and fifties and fifties and hundreds. And I'm like, fucking holy shit. Yeah, like, you know, I'm doing better shows and, and, and then they, like, I don't got these fucking, I don't got these whales. Brock Lee disappeared, you know, like he was one of my whales, but I, I don't, I don't get it. I do great shows here. Quad. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Kevin has some loyal fucking fans that have been sticking with him for a long time. They all know him in real life. That's the thing, right? They've all been his uh, like buddy in real life, or I mean, they have access to him. Podcast. No, Steve was trashing that guy. Steve was fucking telling that RP guy, "I'm gonna fucking uh, you know fuck you. I'm gonna fucking fight you." All this. I'm like, that guy's, you know, he's been very generous to me. And I know he's been very generous to Kevin. Why is fucking Stevie Luke trashing, you know, one of Kevin's biggest super chatters? Is that a good business? Uh, well, no. And, and you seen what he was saying, beloved chatter, too, right? He was talking major shit to him, but uh, beloved chatter went to the stand like the the night that that Stevie Lou said he was going to be there to confront Ray at the stand. Beloved Chatter went with Ray that night. He was going to defend him if he had to. Like, I think Beloved Chatter would love to whoop Stevie Blue's ass, honestly. I think he would have been happy to do it. Uh, let's see. John's ready for can. Thanks to us. His set stunk. Kumia, a much funnier man than you. He never saw me do Oh, he did. Kumia did. Yeah, but Kumia has an agenda against me, so you can't really go by that. And Kumia, have you ever seen his stand-up? <laughs> God awful. Uh, my P.I. Dusty, thanks for the two bucks. Vince Aloya got balls to invite Levy on his show. What say you? I asked to be there. See, they always try and get me, but they never get me. Liberal Lunacy, thanks to Fiber. John, you are the car wreck we pass on the highway. And truly and Carl are the news we tune in to see the mangled mess in uh, which is you. Skull! 
yeah i mean having you and bob on a show like the first time you came back to mlc that was amazing man uh yeah and i oh, and then vince plays it i'm fucking i'm fucking annihilating bob <laughs> narcissist uh, nancy the narcissist thanks to Lux, you look so foolish with that darwin comment yeah okay you know really i mean all right let's get back to these idiots that so i don't know what he's doing but you you got to get out there again so you think I mean, where are you bob how many shows have you done this past week it's, it's a lack a of rep isn't it it's a lot lack of repetitions for john yeah and, and it's simple you can go oh well i can go and make money online and you can thank fucking a lot of people for that and uh, uncle rico call and everybody this is what drives me crazy I have to thank them. They're doing a show about me. I'm the one they should thank. But isn't it amazing how they turn everything around? Somehow, I I should be grateful to them for goofing on me. It's like, Bob, I'll go away tomorrow. I can afford to. And then what are you fucking idiots going to talk about? You're going to pull up every old clip of me to try and stay in existence. And by the way, Bob, the shit network is tanking, tanking. And so is Lady K. They're tanking. People are done with this nonsense. You know who's going to Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of question marks out there as far as the Chewy network goes, as far as I'm concerned. We all, we all want answers because uh, we're not really getting them yet. I'm curious to see where this all goes. Uh, I think Ray is pretty much the only like working comic in the entire Dabbleverse, correct? Oh, Chad. He seems the only one. Well, Chad's half ass. Like he he doesn't work nearly as much as uh, Ray does. I mean, he does do some gigs, but he what does he get? Like one gig a week, maybe so four or five a month. Speaking of which, raping Ray DeVito. Thanks to us. <laughs> Quad, want to hang out? You look like you can't run fast. Okay. That's true. But, but I'm sure that doesn't even bother you anymore, Quad. You just like, of course not. No, I think I it's don't. funny for the most part. I don't even yeah. care. No, I wouldn't think you would. Uh, F. Dot Young, thanks to us. John, TSN is sniping and saying you have zero friends. That's fine. That's a I'm a zero. There you go. Good. Good for you. Oh, his Vince. Thanks, folks. Son and John, I got your text that I am dead to you. I wish you luck in the future endeavors in Florida now, next week. Call if you want to meet up. I'll call when I'm back. No, Vince. No. No more. Vince, and I mean this, you're an asshole. You always have been, and I've always known it. And I don't want anything to do with you ever. So take my fucking name out of your fucking mouth. I don't care. You can talk about me every day, but I don't like you. And I know that kills you. I know that you're jelly because I actually like Brennan. But I like Brennan because he's funny. You're not funny. You have a downsy laugh. You have a downsy face. And what I can't I can't wait to play you dancing, but you probably take it down to fucking whole lot of love, which was so douchey. I'll show you that later. It's fucking I mean, so bad. Vince trying to be cool listening to Led Zeppelin, and he can't he can't remember one fucking line from the song. Ugh. No respect. Nancy, is it depressing? You suck at everything now. Not really. I'm living a beautiful life. Don. Quad, your feelings on Newport's ball washer, LOL. Uh, the Blacks. Zach, yeah, I'm, oh, they're trying to put me on the spot again. They love doing that to me when I'm on your show for some reason. Oh, I don't, they're chipping you know, me. I don't care. Thanks, Bucks. You left your son to drink in the bar you like. Never, never would I do that. Eric Okerlin, what pop are you on? Broski, what does Broski mean? Just like bro or brosif, bro NATO. It's bro talk. 
I love that. Like Kevin's like, all I can get is quad father because he don't have to pay him. I'm like, yeah. What's your part, Kev? Keep on paying Stevie Lou. Keep on paying all these fucking people. I love it. Because every time that you make 800 like, you know, on your show that day, I know you already shelling out three or 400 I love it. School. Yeah, Stevie Lou almost sounded like complimentary about the times that you guys had together. Like, he, he did seem like he was reminiscing in his mind for a second before he caught himself and was like, oh, yeah, it's, uh, quad father, that's the only person you can get on a show now. Uh, but you could see, like, you could see it clicked for a second, and then he was like, oh, fuck, I better not be like, oh, yeah, 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 I had to turn on him. But his thing, what, I paid Stevie 80 bucks. I don't know if you know that. No. Yeah, I did. So, you know, fuck him. John's ready with a can. Because I felt bad for him. Thanks for the two bucks. Vince the lawyer, dead to you until you need a favor. Griffin John, nope. Never again. I'm telling you. Uh, penis wrinkle, thanks two bucks. I'll bet a thousand you become friends with Vince the lawyer again. I'm not betting anything. I'll tell you what, Vince. Tell you what. You want to talk to me? And I mean this. And I know you're watching. Everybody is. Shitway is watching. They're probably sniping me. I'll tell you this. You pay me 500 and I'll have you on for an hour. Not from Super Chats. From your own Super Chats. Not my show. From your show. That's the only way I'll talk to you ever again. But I want the 500 and I want it Venmo or PayPal. And I know you're such a cheap fuck. It ain't going to happen. But I have dirt on you, Vince. Real good stuff. But I ain't going to attack you. Not yet. But my PI, Dustin, who I think you know. Oh, there's a lot of dirt. Oh, there's a lot. I'm telling you, look. Derek, I'm not lying. Like when I say this, like I got literal documents on all these guys. Like I'm talking everything. And... You know, this Dustin guy is brilliant. Like, what he has with Philip Joseph Russo, we never heard he got arrested in Jersey. Have we? We never heard he had a Not felony. I'm aware of. In right. Ocean County. But he did. I have the case number. I have the case number. So, Trailer Trash Phil, you might want to... You should probably be concerned. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, just because he got the shit to get dropped doesn't mean he didn't do it. Just like Chad, right? With all the credit card stuff, he, he somehow he got weaseled his way out of that shit. Doesn't mean he didn't take the damn credit cards. He still had them in his possession when he got arrested. Somehow, right. some way, he found some uh, loophole to get out of uh, technicality if you will. No, I mean, Chad is a fucking, he's a criminal. I think he's funny on MLC. Like if anybody that like Chad makes me laugh when Bochetti's on because, because he always play. Oh no. <laughs> Someone writes something about Bochetti's mom. <laughs> I laugh because he's like, Oh no. Cause he's just, he's just fucking getting Bochetti riled up. It's funny as fuck. Who do you love more? Mike B. Me or Vince Lawyer. I need to know. You. Is that Mike Vecchione? I don't know. Who uh, Who's that? A uh, comedian in New York City. No. He, uh, like, I know he was saying that. And by the way, Mike B., you were saying that uh, Vince and Bob are the, like, best in the Dalvarez. I'm like, what? Dude, you have set a low bar. Uh, I I just was curious about the Vecchione thing because I seen uh, I seen Brandon talking about that the other day. He was curious if that was the thing, Mike Vecchione. I don't think it is. T Bone Vince Lawyer's ex. Thanks for the fiber. Last week on WATP, Carl said his favorite food was McNuggets with ketchup. 
because barbecue sauce is too spicy. And he likes is that hot real? sliced up with ketchup, no bun. Is this is this true? Because that can't be real. I mean, this is like a three year old talking about food. Yeah. Is he seven? Is, does his mom wife cut up his hot dogs for him? You must admit. Come on. Come on. Uh, I mean, Derek, uh, his wife's fugly, man. Not my type. I'll say that. Yeah. And fucking show his wife's behemoth. And don't forget, everybody, we already covered that the shit where said he couldn't do his show last night because he was at a school board meeting or whatever it was. But he also said that he's homeschooling. I know where he was because we reported him to the Alabama school board because he is not allowed to homeschool without a high school diploma. School! May, uh, I just had something pop in my mind. Do you think it's possible that they have to go in every once in a while to have like an evaluation? Or a review of where they're at with their kids' schoolwork. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. And I know that I'm throwing it out there because I don't know. No, no, and that's and that's a viable question. But the problem is, wouldn't he have known about it weeks prior? It wouldn't have been right. Something it wouldn't have been an emergency. No, no, no. Right, right. No, no, no. He got called in for one reason and one reason only. And don't think we're stopping. Don't think we're stopping. There are a lot more coming down the pike. Look, that's why I said to you earlier, Quad, if they keep fucking with me like this, they don't think I'm going to fucking retaliate? You don't think I have something in store for Patty, fucking Fatty Patty? I do. He don't know. But when he least expect it, expect it. Because I'm telling you, oh, trust me. Trust me. Same goes for uh, Stevie Lou on my case, man. Like, I'll put it out there because I know he's probably watching right now. I know he probably watches every one of my shows. But, yeah, you keep fucking around talking shit. And uh, I don't know. Uh, you'll see. I mean, real life can happen real quick. And I'm not saying, like, violence or anything. But whatever. I know stuff about Stevie Lou. It's out there. I would just hate to see these Super Chats come in with Stevie Lou's wife's picture. Spectre. Thanks for the five memberships. <laughs> hey, shit, where? Those are real. Those are real. Spectre is real. Do you understand that? Not like you. And we we already know that you fucking fake them. Ain't that lame? Now, I know it's, it's perception, Derek, but isn't it lame that they fucking fake super chats? Yeah, I mean, uh, a million percent of that. If that is the case, it is very lame. I can imagine the only reason they would do that is for the sponsors they have that are outside of anything to do with this, like the rest of cuts or whatever, shit like that. But why Why would you do that except for that? I know. I it, it doesn't make any sense. There, There isn't a business model where you spend money to make it look like you're doing good. I just... Like, I guess perception is a piece of it, but it doesn't. No, no, no. No, because they can get the... Um, it's a vanity. From, no, you get them from, from Argentina for like five bucks. I know, but still you're spending money. Like, spending money to look good seems yeah. very douchebag. Yeah, but don't we all spend money to look good? I mean, look at my haircut. That cost me money. Quad, I always like you. Please help me out. I don't know what that means. Uh, Justin, uh, you have all the charm of a backed up toilet. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> Funeral director. Finn is known as a G-spot. Grandmaster got skills. Vince is an asshole. He's a loser. And he, he blew it. You blew it! You blew it! Because I'm done. I swear. You watch. He, he's blocked everywhere. Tivo DeVito. He was 18 then, but what about the previous 18, Bob? Yeah, I know. Bob's lying. And he, he lied so many times with Vince today. Here, here, let's get back to that. Because, I mean, the lies are coming in fucking fast and furious. But he else, because it, it, 
it turned you into a money maker. Fine. Oh, all right. Bob, I was a money maker all my life. I had a rock bottom time after the Tonight Show, but I continued to make money without your dumb fuck ass fucking goofing on me. I was teaching. I was making seven G's a month, which is more than you make. <clears throat> so shut the fuck up, you high school dropout. But just sticking to the stand-up comedy, what's the number one thing Shuli could do to improve his stand-up comedy? His comedy is very funny. You see, that's the whole thing. Lie, lie, lie. It's like but I, I asked gonna... ask the question. I get that he's funny. I do believe. What? It's I'm asking how. This is where Vince is a coward. Quad. Vince has already told me, privately and on my show, that Shuli's stand-up is god awful. So now he's going to. Yeah, like, I've heard. I remember hearing him say Shuli's not funny specifically. Yeah, so now he's going to lie just because Bob's there and say that Shuli's yes. somehow good. But I mean, that's like, it's so disingenuous. This is why I don't like Vince. He's a liar. Writing and, and, writing and, and trying new stuff, you know, and just even if you have it in your mind, just fucking do it. You know, do it on stage. You, you don't have to write everything down. You could think of a joke and go, I'm going to. What a guy Bob thinks in his warped brain that he's Jerry Seinfeld. He thinks he's Robin Williams. I mean, this guy really believes he's so great at comedy, and he's not. What's with stage, all these shitty and comics and their from... shitty comedy? Who are these people? I mean, at the beginning, you know, have something that works at the beginning. Then do the new stuff because sometimes you can't follow your new stuff with the older stuff you have. I, I wear and uh, I, I, it's the material that fucking makes you stand totally ahead of people. Look right. up and tell Bob. He Let's get into this now. I don't watch this guy, Kevin. John is in love with him. When John sees him, I mean, he just starts he lights getting, up like a firefly. I can't believe it. I am jealous because he treats him so nicely. Kevin doesn't give him anything. Vince. Here is the reason, and I'm going to say this to you, and I've said it to you a billion times. Brennan is funny. You are not. Brennan has been successful in the entertainment business, as have I. So there's some camaraderie there. You are a dwarf, balding, lying lawyer. So, of course, I'm going to, you know, like Kevin because at least he's done something and he makes me laugh. You don't, Vince. So you can be butthurt all you want. And no, my eyes don't light up. He's just a dude. But you're just jelly because you want my love. You... You with a man, you want my love, and he... uh, so Vince jealous. is to you what Ray is to Kevin Brennan. Did you see that 17 minute video Franklin oh, Sheckler put together of Ray? Oh, I love please. Kevin. I love Kevin Brennan. I oh, love God. It was so fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to these idiots. I give John everything, and he looks mm -hmm. at this guy like he's the hottest girl in the world. So this is an old clip from the well, show. I think that he probably wants a job there, and you know, nope, not at all. I do not want a job there, Bob. Again, you're too stupid to know me. I am the most calculated motherfucker, and no offense to Derek, because I don't know his intelligence. But I'm the smartest one, and I know what I'm doing, and my finances, I've always been successful. And it doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll fail, but I'll always get... I get knocked down, but I get up again. Nobody's ever going to keep me down. And I get knocked down, but I get up again. No one's ever going to keep me down. Ain't that right, Quad? It's more uh, than it's that, hard. Bob. It's true. <laughs> what? I was going to say, no, I, I can't get back up. Damn it. 
No, I, love. It's love. I mean, he does blush when he talks about him. I find it sexy in a way. Like, I, I don't think men should, you know, if you have love for another man, you should be able to show it and not say, I don't love him after saying nice things that you would say. All right, Quad, if, if only you had a beer, because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a drinking thing now. Whenever Bob says, you know what I mean, I'm going to take a big fucking swig. To a woman, about a woman, of how you find them compelling. He's not good at stand-up. I want to see you say yeah. this to Bob's face. Now, Bob, this is John here. They're talking about you and, and John saying that you're mm -hmm. not good at stand-up. I've called you a grandmaster, and I've seen yeah. great oh, attorneys. God. And oh, there it is. <laughs> grandmaster? Vince, you are such an idiot, and you don't know it. There is not one fucking credible comic that would call Bob Levy a grandmaster. I've seen people that speak in public, and the reason why I'm asking you to give some, surely some advice, he, don't, he probably won't listen as much to me, but you can analyze someone and should analyze the younger comedians and help them out. This I is do a situation. all the time. Yeah, but I mean, I've, I've been asking about Shuli and you keep telling me, you know, it's good, but I think he needs really specific advice to follow. If You, you want him that, to dress better for you? I want him to dress better, yes. Dress is important, Bob. If you look at all the great comedians, they have it. They have a look, a vibe that when they come on stage, Shuli looks like a schlep. Now, if that was part of his act, I'd say fine, go with it, but I don't just think it is. I think he just rolls up to mm -hmm. the show and whatever he's wearing and then sort of he, he was able to get away with it when he was working on Howard. I mm -hmm. don't believe he's doing that now. I think he could, but it's something he can easily increase. Because Bob, I've seen Bob kill like just Hold about a second. every time I, I work with him, he yeah, goes okay. on after Brown me. Brown I, have, I have great shows. Evan, Bob goes Evan, on after me and kills. Evan, tell me tell Bob you. he sucks at stand-up. Bob, he sucks at stand-up. Kevin, Is he let, a me liar? Tell, let me tell you something about Bob. And what do you do? Bob, let me ask you a question, Bob. Seriously, did I not did I or did I not take you on the road with me? For a little while, yeah. Yes. But so what? I take Wait, you well, on the road with me my Bob, career. Let me, I'm doing the I'm doing the questioning here. <laughs> you gotta love me, Quad. Oh, I, oh God, you weren't watching that. No, well, I mean, we could hear it. We could hear the yeah. entire conversation, so we know yeah, what was being said. But yeah, no, I, he yeah. probably wants I a job I, there, and you know. It's more uh, than it's that, hard. Bob. It's true love. It's love. I mean, he does blush when he talks about him. I find it sexy in a way. Like, I, I don't think men no, should, quite, you know, love if you have love for another funny. man, you should yeah, be able to show it and not say, I don't love him after saying nice things that you would say to a woman about a woman of how you find them compelling. He's not good at stand up. I want to see you say yeah. this to Bob's face. Now, Bob, this is John here. They're talking about you and, and John saying that you're mm -hmm. not good at stand up. Now, I've called you a grandmaster and I've seen yeah. great attorneys and I've seen people that speak in public. And the reason why I'm asking you to give some, surely some advice, he, don't, he probably won't listen as much to me, but you can analyze someone and should analyze the younger comedians and help them out. This I is do a situation. Yeah, but I mean, I've, I've been asking about Shuli and you keep telling me, you know, it's good, but I think he needs really specific advice to follow. If You, you want him that, to dress better for you? I want him to dress better, yes. Dress is important, Bob. If you look at all the great comedians, they have, it, they have a look, a vibe the that when they come on stage, Shuli looks like a schlep. Now, if that was part of his act, I'd say fine, go with it, but I don't just think it is. I think he just rolls up to the show and whatever he's wearing and then sort of he, he was able to get away with it when he was working on howard i don't mm -hmm. believe he's doing that now i think he can, but it's something he can easily increase because bob i've seen bob kill like just Hold about a second. every time I'm i work with him he will yeah, goes okay. on after Brown me I have, I have great shows Kevin. bob goes Kevin. on after me and Kevin. Kevin. Tell me tell bob you. he sucks at stand-up bob he sucks at stand-up kevin is he a liar say, let me tell you something about Bob. And what do you let me, do? With, Bob, let me ask you a question, Bob. Seriously, did I not? Did I or did I not take you on the road with me? For a little while, yeah. Yes. But so what? I take Say you well, on the road with me my Bob, career. Let me, I'm doing, the, I'm doing the questioning. You do it. Fuck you. You ain't going to talk to me like that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you this, Bob. Let me Bob, ask you this. Uh, did you? I try to help the guy. What does he do? He trashes me. Did the I dude tried hair, to have, yeah, you I helped. Me. Hold on. Here's the thing. By having me on the show, I'm helping you. I am helping you, John Ed. Now, Quad, this is the thing that really irritates me. Now, I've had, uh, let me tell you the comments that I had on my stand up, the Stuttering John and Friends tour Artie Lang, Nick DiPaolo, Modi, 
Jim Florentine, Greg Fitzsimmons, Greg Giraldo, Ralphie May, Robert Schimmel, Richard Jenny. Uh, <laughs> there's so many. Uh, yeah, that's, that's quite the. Uh, oh, and, Otto and George. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm talking great, great comics. Yeah, that was quite the list. And I'll tell you this. The only reason Bob ever ended up on my show was when Florentine couldn't make it. First of all, Norton and Norton, he was on my tour. Norton told me, uh, if I can't do it, then use Florentine. Then I used Florentine. And Florentine said, if I'm busy, use Bob Levy. So as a bone to Bob, I put him on the show and I couldn't stand him as a closer. He was not a good closer. But now he thinks he's helping me? No, Bob. I was helping you. Because I actually got you into real rooms. Like the improvs and lab factories. Are you out of your fucking mind? It's ridiculous. But here we go. Would Melendez. I'm helping you. By You're fucking being able to kill at the end of the You're show. You're not killing. You know what I mean? Like how, when you are the opening act, it, you have nothing. You know what I mean? There are good. Oh, now we had that was two. You know what I mean? So, no. uh, when's the last time you guys worked together? When was the, uh, the last the last comedy run you guys went on together? About about seven years ago, we just. A pizza joint. I mean, nobody has Bob anywhere real. He's a hack. Every, look, he's a buffoon. He, it, no one in comedy thinks Bob is somehow a great stand-up. The only person who thinks Bob is a great stand-up is Bob. But you know. But again, let me ask some questions. Right. So Bob's a nobody. I'm on the Stern Show. I'm bringing people to the to and getting them on the Stern Show, like Bob, like Nick DiPaolo, like Modi, like Bo Shetty. A lot of my yeah, a lot of my comics ended up on the Stern Show because I would tell Howard they should have him on because they're funny. How the fuck does Bob think he's helping me? What say you? Yeah, I don't really get that. Uh, the timing of it doesn't make any sense. It does not track as far as the time. The time does not line up for what he's saying. But not only I, that, I was watching. Uh, I was watching a documentary of Bachetti not too long ago, from like two thousand six or seven, and uh, a big chunk of it was about the story of how you got him onto Stern. That that was actually very interesting, by the way. Just a side note. Really? Because Boschetti claims I didn't. I'm like, he keeps oh, saying I, it was Yeah, I could. It I'll send me. you the link in a timestamp. I just oh, heard it not very so recently. But but then the other thing that Bob is saying here is that, uh, well, well, he's saying that all I did was play a video. That's a lie. I played a five-minute tape, and then I came on, just like they do in any comedy club. You know, and they play all the video. And I played a five minute what? of me doing the interviews, and then I did 10 minutes of them. This is all a lie. Everything they tell you is a lie, and it's fucking it's infuriating, but I guess they're trying to get a rise out of me. So it's kind of like a live interactive uh, show like they do now? Like you, no, you I do a presentation me. and then a comedy act? No, like when you would do the Tempe improv, like the first five minutes they play, like jokes from like other stand-ups you know as they're getting like a lot of comedy clubs do that even like the laugh factory in Vegas, like a holder it. video like a holding yeah, have, video like, just keep know, people's just, attention yeah it's getting everyone prepping in the, the mood. prepping the crowd yeah so i would do a five minute of me doing the interviews and then i would do 10 minutes and then bring the next guy i had about 15 in those days but that was like that was the first year i was doing stand-up quad you know obviously you know, now I have an hour and a half of material. 
good host and that shit to be used at the right time. You are not one of them. You were you would play videos, and then you would fucking uh, right. you would bring on the acts, and right. you had it so easy. And people made you tons of money. So be happy. Oh, I made you tons of money, Bob. I made you money. You, you and you were my least favorite out of all the comments I brought on. Be what people yeah. have done for Bob. I had Chelsea Handler on too on the Stuttering John. And friends talk. Bob, trust me, you were not my favorite. You. The issue, Bob, was that these guys had exposure to Howard Stern, so they were able to put asses in seats, sell tickets. Yeah, yeah they mm -hmm. and they could do it better than you guys could. You can do the comedy better, but you needed yeah. John, you needed truly a hook to the show. Uh, well, yeah, it, it, you're on the show. Why not work together and, and everybody can see everybody? That's the problem. Is is what with me when they're working for me? Yeah, yeah. I get a little. I get a portion. So they moved from Shuli's network to your network. Shuli Sorry. network. Wait, hey, how did you help my son's band? How did you help my son's band? I promoted it. You, you promoted like, them like they needed you to fucking promote them. You asked them. me to. Then why did you ask me? What did you do? Retweet it. Did you retweet it? Yes, it did. You, anytime you, you ask. Yes, I did. Anytime you ask. So the, so the house that they right. bought is because right. of you. So, so Kevin, in other words, he has to be doing a favor. I do him a favor, but that means oh, I need to help him. You by retweeting something. You're a you fucking hero. You're a fucking hero. You asked me to. Hold on a second. Now, this is the same guy that would tag me in all of his. I Just take it off. Mike V says, great show. This interview format is much better. Bob, confirm from a huge how Stuttering John fan. Do a show with Stuttering John. His fans will support you. Leave TSN. You're better than that. Wait. Okay, Bob. Coming from a huge Stuttering John fan. Do a show with Stuttering John. His fans. Look, I don't. I am very happy where I am. Both. And it brought back a lot of memories from doing Miserable Men on Howard. And we knew. The consistency. It didn't happen overnight. It was actually an eight to ten. Right. Ask That's Bob like, if you know, think if Shuli would. Huh. I got to ask you something. Will you, do you think Shuli will ever get rational and be friends with me again? And I, Bob, I you have just one that. kid? Yes. All right, here we go. This next one is pretty yes, interesting. Fine. Be real, Bob. What Shuli's rank one to 10, I guess 10 being the best as a stand-up comedian? Well, you got to do this. Let's do the laughing bit. I would say uh, eight and a half. Ah! Ah! He's, a was that? That? He's a solid act. He's a solid act. We rated me in quarantine would rate shows how you did on stage. All right, we fair enough. I just wanted day. the number. But yeah. how about how, how do you rank Florentine then if Shuli's an eight and a half? A nine? Oh my god. And where do you Oh my lord? Quad, how the fuck could he say that Shuli's an eight and a half and Florentine's a nine? You know why? Because Bob is ball washing Shuli because he still wants to get paid from the shit way, and that's the only reason. So what's Louis C.K., a uh, 30, a 40 on that scale? Yeah. What's Kinnison? You know, what's Steve Martin? Yeah. You know, what's Richard Jenny, 100? <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, not even in the ballpark as far as out of a 10. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. I'm not going to get to all this because uh, I just want to get to this real douchey thing. Hold on. So here we go. I'll let you. All right, Quad, this is, I'm almost done with the show, but this is really fun. Here we go. What? Can't see it if you're trying to show something. Oh, okay. This I is guess I, last time I thought you were just trying to show audio, but I get, I get it now. You just didn't have it pulled up. It's all good. And I watched the lameness. I mean, talk about white people dancing. This is Vince dancing. And it's so douche chilly. And with his smiley downsy face, I I I it was cringe for me. So this is Vince. He's gonna be fuck with that dumb fucking smile is as he la uh, it's here, just watch this. Hey, cool, eh? Baby, I'm not fooling. Schooling way down inside. 
a hundred you don't need. Oh my god, quad. I mean, do you, uh, look at this fucking guy dancing, and it's so cringe. What do you say, quad? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It, watch, yeah, it, it gets more and more embarrassing. I'm gonna give you my love. I'm gonna give you my love. He doesn't even know the lyrics. He don't even know them. And he's trying, he, like, he doesn't know what the fuck the guy's saying. Oh. What a fuck. Look at that face. Quad. Look. You know what? I got to say, you won. You're in a wheelchair. But look at that fucking thing. Look at that downsy face. I mean, with that fucking look. And he's, oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a chick, but that's got to be the most unsexy thing to do. You man. God, and then they tongue kiss quad. Did you see that? Yeah, watch. No, they didn't. So, take me, me to my next one. How hacky. Uh, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, Vince jumped the shark for me, Quad. Yeah, man, that, that gave me deuce chills. I, I had the shivers run up my spine from that. And my spine don't even work very. Oh God! What the hell? They actually did do it. What the fuck? It, it, it I thought you're joking. No, no, no. This is so lame. And this is how much Vince loves Bob. And it's just the guy's a fucking loser. And I just don't want any part of this guy anymore. Not you. Well, Vince. I mean, look, Bob. And sometimes, like, I think about it, it's like you and I have like you're blushing certain- like John. Do you certain... love me? Say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I love you, Bob. Yes. What? What? Oh, come on in. I just wondering if uh, you have some cabinet that I can borrow because I dumped some oil. You know, and I was just going to buy it for you in a little bit. Oh, in the back seat of my car. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's in the back seat. I, I have a whole bag. Take it. Thank you. All right, buddy. But Downsy, I mean, I mean, uh, oh, sorry. geez, call me Downsy. How dare you? No, no, I'm thinking of this, but it, it, did I play that whole kid? <laughs> so, episode <laughs> now, yeah, unfortunately, did the yes, Deuce Bear give you it. any shit for doing yes, this? Unfortunately, no, not at all. Nothing at all. He didn't say anything not at all. He knows. Oh my god. I mean, come on. I mean, quad. The worst gay porn I've ever seen. How could you do that to me, John? It's so bad. It's so and I watch you in hot water, so I see lots of gay porn. But I don't but it's just Vince's devout love for Bob Levy. It's it's so cringe, you know. Well, he's going to be doing a lot of that now, right? Like, like he's going to replace you with Bob because they're going to be doing. Do you know, like, how many shows they have planned? What's going on with that? Or oh, I don't. Did, I don't did know. say? I don't, I, like, I don't even want to watch Vince anymore because all it is is him trying to get my attention, like with that me on the back of a bike, which is obviously not the case. And he knows that I wasn't in fucking Florida, but he's just trying to, like, you know. You know, troll you you know and, get out of and, your skin but, yeah yeah which is fine but i'm over it like now nah, i don't like i'm I, i'm not watching them anymore i don't give a shit about them and uh, i wish him well but i'm done with vince the lawyer 
Go ahead, Quap. How about if he keeps sending you uh well, how about if he keeps sending you uh, deliveries? Are you going to end up having to get a hold of the cops, or what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah, I will. I, I'll say this guy's harassing me, and he knows that he is. I don't want him. I could afford my own beer, and uh, I don't need tampons, and I don't need rubbing alcohol. So I don't need any of this shit and fucking, you know, every other thing, downsy uh, fucking softener. I don't need any of this shit. So, Vince, we're done. You're dead. Go away, you know, and do what you want to do. Qua, what do you want to plug? Stephen Lee's wife. <laughs> oh, I I oh, hope yeah. that, I hope MLI does a good job with Stevie's rant today. It was totally hysterical that I'm somehow right. a loser, and yet I have... <laughs> it's, it, and then no, we um, know everybody in the world knows Stevie Lou is a loser, but whatever, dude. Yeah, but, just like, it. but the best takeaway is I'm jealous because he's on MLC. It's like, oh my god, if this is your, if this is the, uh, you know, the, what, what is it, the crescendo, if you will. This is the, the this is your biggest pinnacle, the pinnacle, the pinnacle of your success. Thank you, Derek. Like. This is the pinnacle. Being on Kevin Brennan, then you are a loser. <laughs> I mean, well, he knows that that's probably as high as he can uh, possibly reach anyway. So that is the best he's going to get. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm real curious to see where Stevie Lou goes with this shit here coming up soon. I hope he just shuts the fuck up, but you know he won't. Just no, like but- Vince won't stop fucking with you. It's like it's all the same shit. It's all the same shit, but I just hope, like, like because what he did today by doing that with me, I got fans too, Stevie, and it, like, and I got people who, and I'm grateful for these people, but they are diligent about all the assholes who have been fucking with me for three years, including Shitwear, including Silent Mike, Bob, and fucking producer Phil. I got people on everybody. And Vinny Paulino, Moonhead, declared bankruptcy in 2007. Nobody knows that. I do. You know, and 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 I know it. The shit's coming in fast and furious. And every show, I will reveal a new one. So, uh, I mean, they're just digging a hole. Because I don't have a criminal history. I've never been arrested, never got a DUI. They don't have anything on me, but I got a lot on them. And my kids have never been arrested, never a DUI. We be clean, but you people are not. Quad plug what you want to plug. Yeah, uh, tomorrow's a little bit of a different show. We're going to be on at 5 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Uh, we have that Dalton Pruitt guy that uh, Stevie Lou dosed with drugs at Skankfest. And uh, oh. sent him into like a, a psychological issues from it. Uh, so we got that guy on tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully we'll have Dr. Steve on maybe this Sunday. But uh, yep, lots going on over there at BYB. Check it out. All right, Derek. Uh, have a great night, my brother. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Later, buddy. All right, I'll see you. All right, the great uh, quad father. Go to watch him on BYB and then. Let's see. Tivo DeVito. He was 18 then. What about the previous 18, Bob? I know. All right. Let me get to the last super chats. Dang, lizard. Lady Stuttering John, so sensitive. Insecure about your manliness. Not at all. I'm, I'm not really insecure about anything. Narcissist Nancy, the narcissist. Why don't you cover your mouth while sneezing? Eh. Then I get it all in my hands. Then I gotta wipe my hands and my pants, and then I gotta wash my pants. Pants wrinkle. <laughs> Member two months. Vince Lawyer has been has a keen eye for details. He's able to identify Carl's S instantly, given his gift of analysis with little info. It's gotta be you in the bike. Now Vince was trolling me, penis, and you're smarter than that. He knows it wasn't me. He knows I was in L.A. 
He knows. He's just fucking with me. Uh, now he's trying. See, this is where he tries to. This is where Vince is trying to get my love again. He's like, you know, he's like the adopted kid. You know, so now he's going to try. Oh, come on. Let me. Come on. Come on. You don't want to write me off. You better not get Bob's New Jersey criminal court video. Well, that means that there is. So, yes, I will ask Dustin to get it. Dustin doesn't have a lot of good things to say about you, Vince. I'm just saying. I don't think you should be fucking, you know. I know you don't give a shit about anything, but Mitch is real, and you know it. Tebo DeVito. Bob, surely aren't naturally funny. Force comedy, I agree. Just getting to the end. I'll get out of here. Short Fridays. Thanks, two bucks. Bob Levy's a comedy legend. John gets goofed on. Really? The guy's never been passed by any comedy club as a legend? I don't think so. Penis Wrinkle. Thanks, two bucks. Vince Aloy kisses your ass the same way he does Bob. Irony. Look, don't matter. I'm done with Vince. Nancy. Rather daughter do OnlyFans. Okay, well, that's you. Uh, I don't, you know. That's just because you're a fucking right-wing lunatic. Robert Myers, my man. <laughs> I've been in and out of the chat. Skull, thanks for the tenor. Penis wrinkle, 12. W-A-T... P played your entire act unedited. It was awful. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it wasn't. It, it was edited. Vegas beer sells Jerry, and it wasn't. Uh, you know, it's a shit keg in some shit place that I didn't want to be there. Bob laughed at one of your bits. Shit way he got annoyed. Of course, of course he did. Thanks, Jerry. Leo Gun, my man. Thanks for the tenor. John, you're only half right. Nike is the Greek goddess of victory and lumpy tennis shoes. Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Daniel Poinsett. Vince is messing with you. He's dusting you, dope. No, he's not. Mm -mm. Um. Uh, thanks for the bucks, Igor. Igor, Igor, Igor. Thank you. Do 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 what are you, a sucker? Oh, come on, T.O. You, you can't possibly believe that. Joseph Silver, thanks for the fiber. I'm real, and so was the 200 I have surely this afternoon. I don't know what that means. Uh, I can. Quad, John, I need to escape. Please help me. Uh, Slim Faley. I love you, John. Come to Tahoe, brother. Lodging and beers on me. School! Fuck. El Duderino. Thanks for the tenor. Johnny! Well, no disrespect, but you're quite dry. Why don't you have me on? Former manager at several Fortune 500 companies. Would, would be the pleasures of my life, and yes, I'm well-spoken. Well, El Dutorino, you're welcome to come on here. Uh, 420 snack time. Thanks to the books. I can confirm Carl said McDonald's barbecue is too spicy. Are you kidding me? I love that barbecue. 
É... Ms. New York, you hottie. See you in Vegas, John. You too, quad. Naya! Naya! Bob. Surely stand-up is funny. Me. Uh, I know. It's so lame. For him to say that, he lost all credibility if he had any as a comedian. Mike B. John, you will always be the king of to me. Skull. I love you, Mike. I'm glad you turned to the good side of the force. Ryan A. Thanks for the two bucks. John, can you do more cartoons with fries and milkshake? Oh, is that that milkshake one that uh, oh, the Bologna Factory did? I like that guy. It's pretty good. But, you know, he's got to, like, start getting new animation. I can. Thanks, Dux. John, can I stay in your Florida house? I need to get away. Well, who are you, first of all? I got to get laid. It's it's too long. I got it. I mean, I got a blowjob three months ago. It, it, I got it. I got to get laid. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. It's the biggest route I've had. No, yeah, no, yeah. Neighbor sounds like Steve Grillo. <laughs> He's a nice guy. He helps me out. Uh, I just, I just happened to have cat litter in my trunk in my back seat. It was so funny. Leo Gunn, thanks for fiber. Well, it looks like Vince really did it this time. I'll miss the little scamp. Somber school. Yeah, I'm done with him. I just had it, you know, with his trolling. It's just. At some point, you just go, all right, you know what? Fuck off. Slim Fat, thanks to Bucks. You have to admit I am more handsome than you. I don't know. Oh, good. We got to the end. I can. John, I need good divorce lawyer. Can you help? Is that Laurie? Oh, Laurie, you're so hot. Laurie, come over to the good side of the force. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. I want to thank Derek, uh, a.k.a. the Quad Father, and I want to thank all the Super Chats. So let me go through them. Funeral Director, member for Montang Lizard, uh, like Rolling Stone, Ryan A., um, Herbie Kikeberger, Bo Beardington, Hobby Addict, my P.I. Dusty, Correcting John, Penis Wrinkle, um, Monotone Matt, Spa Day, KJ Fury, John's Ready Whip Can. Uh, let's see. Zach Hoffman, Steve Hanning, Kirby23, Old Craig, Narcissist, Nancy the Narcissist, Short Fridays, EFS, um, Craig Seibart, Kel Norris, Liberal Lunacy. Rape and Ray DeVito, F. Young, Ginny the Lawyer, Don, Eric Okerlund, uh, T Bone, Spectre, I Can, Joseph Silver, T Bone DeVito, um, Robert Myers, Vegas Beer Sauce, Jerry, Leo Gunn, Daniel Poinsett, Igor, T O Hank, Joseph Silver, I can. Slim Failey, L. Dutorino, 420 Snack Time, Ms. New York, Noga. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow at 3 30. This is Stuttering John saying, Kiki, yeah.